What is up, Weekenders? Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button, my bad. What is up, Weekenders? My name is Give the Days, and welcome to today's stream of story time. I, uh, we have a guest. We do indeed say hello to good old Link here, who has decided to join us for a nice bit of story time. As you'll notice, I'm, for the first time in probably any stream ever, talking in a very low, calm voice, because, uh, well, I was given the idea a little while ago of... <laughs> side on. I wish I could have brought him with me if I had a side on plushie. That would be incredible. Um, a little while ago. You know what? Actually, just before we continue. One second, sorry. We'll keep Tom Nook in the corner, because you know what? He seems like a lovely addition to the stream. <laughs> but welcome everyone to today's stream. I hope you're doing well. It's so lovely to see you here. Augie's oh, got his priorities straight, but of course. Sidon is smooth and nice and moist. Agreed, Sidon is a very wonderful bean, I would lie. But hi, it's good to see you, Haru, as well. Welcome to the stream. Um, someone gave me an idea a little while ago. Uh, so I'm just explaining why I'm doing the stream, because I'm sure it's a little odd to hear me in a very calm tone. Thank you, by the way, for your contribution, Harrow, towards the maid outfit stream. Very nice of you. <laughs> oh, I love it, Augie. Agreed, same here. I'm feeling that mood, but uh, I wanted to take today a little more calmly because, um, yeah, let me turn down the music just a tiny bit there, just so it's not too overpowering for you guys. But, um, well, all the streams I ever do are obviously very intense, you know, energetic, and I do love doing those, but someone gave me the idea a small while ago of trying out a story time stream, you know, something where we just all relax, chill out, and uh, sit together as I read a book that uh, I had lying around because there's a couple of books, excuse me, that I've been meaning to read for a while now, but um, one of them in particular has kind of slipped my grasp because I've I've been much more in the mood for wanting to read, but I've never gotten around to doing so. So it's taken me a while to get to the book. Thank you, by the way, Captain, for your contribution as well. Also very kind. And there's one in particular uh, called Twitch, you see here. It's by M.G. Leonard, and it's the story of a young boy who, I'll read the blurb out for you, Twitch, who has three pet chickens, four pigeons, swallows nesting in his bedroom, and a passion of bird watching. On the first day of the summer holidays, he arrives at his secret hide to find police everywhere. A convicted robber has broken out of prison and is hiding in Abe's woods nearby where he lives. Can Twitch use his talents for bird watching in the hunt of the dangerous prisoner and find the missing loot? Now, I have read a bit of this book, admittedly, but I only got about, I'd say, two chapters in, and again, I've been meaning to read it for a very long time, but you just never find time these days, and I thought, what better time to do it than what I love doing the most on stream? And I thought you guys could maybe join me for a bit of peaceful reading where we just all sit down, you know, we can go along and discuss how we feel about the book as I read it out, because I've always felt like I have a voice for reading, but I've never really done so, I've never had, like, the ch opportunity to do so, and... Again, what better time to have the opportunity than when I'm constantly talking all the time. So, I'm keeping it calm. If I'm too quiet or there's any audio issues, let me know, because I'm usually more attuned to it being louder volumes. And I, uh, you know, want to make sure that you guys are... I just want to make sure you guys are comfortable, but of course, if it's too quiet, then let me know. I can always readjust the volume. Uh, I'm currently in a video call with someone who is gay, but isn't my boyfriend. Very good. Well done. But I'm going to start reading. Uh, if anyone is uh, interested in the book, you can go and check it out in local... local uh, like I said, the uh, title of the book is in stream. So if you want to ever give it a look and maybe buy it for yourself. I won't be reading the whole book today, just as far as I can go. Uh, about two hours from now, we will be playing some Mario Kart with data from the sounds of things. Uh, but maybe I'll make it three hours. It depends on how I'm feeling on reading the book. So I'm just going to be reading and going along. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't be afraid to chat, by the way, still. Chat is still completely open. But I just thought maybe you guys would uh, like to sit back while I read. So we're going to start now. Unfortunately, I know this is meant to be a calm stream, but the first line is simply kill it. So no idea what that means, but welcome Joshy to the stream. Absolutely ginormous name. Pleasure to have you with us. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for joining. By the way, all the sound effects are muted, so don't worry about any certain scares or spooks. If you just want to sit down and relax, all you hear is me and the music. Who needs audible when you've got jacks? Indeed. Oh, my camera is slightly off sync, sorry about that. But you can see a bit of Link's hair there. But, uh, you know, we'll continue. Oh. Okay, I need to... Yeah, sorry, I need to be clicked into OBS, not my browser. But still, we'll start from the beginning. <coughs> 
kill it. Twitch stopped dead on the path to the main school building, ignoring the spots of rain landing on his cheeks. He listened. Go on, do it. The feverish voice belonged to Jack Kappelman, a charismatic boy with caramel-coloured hair who'd moved to a bri- uh, Bridvale a few days, a few months ago. Sorry, who'd moved to Bridvale a few months ago. From the moment he'd sloped into school with his city boy manner, everyone had danced to Jack's tune, following him like the Pied Piper's rants. My dad says if you crush a pigeon, its eyes will pop out, said a deep voice that can only belong to Vernon. Sorry. My dad says if, a cr- if you crush a pigeon, uh, its eyes will pop out, said a deep voice that could only belong to Vernon Boone. Vernon was the size of a grown-up and was as sensitive as a sandbag. Outside school, he always wore wellies and his dad ran at the local abattoir. Vernon rarely spoke to Twitch, although he did show he, although he shoved him on a daily basis, laughing if he stumbled or fell. Twitch heard a chorus of Ew, let's see, do it, and I can't look. Bending down, he picked up a flint from the barren flower bed that ran along the chemistry block and slipped the stone into his blazer pocket, hurrying to the corner of the building. Peering round at where the big silver dustbins were kept, he saw four boys crowded around something on the ground. Terry Vallis, a skinny boy with dark curly hair and braces, was babbling. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, if it's eyes puppet, I mean the eye popping thing. It makes me feel sick. I'm not going to puke or anything, but Jack started to chant. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do what? Um, sorry. This is Twitch's voice. Do what? Twitch asked loudly. The boys were startled by his voice. Zoru, you're supposed to be keeping watch! Jack scolded the short boy, standing at the edge of the group. Azaru Sawa shrugged and looked away. Oh, sorry. I can't do bird calls. Sorry. Twitch recognized the alarm calls of a bird. Saw the Vernon saw the brick Vernon ch- clenched in his fist and hold, folded his arms to try and contain the anger that blazed in his chest. You're going to kill a rock dove? No, Vernon Smith sniffed. Gonna kill a pigeon. A pigeon is descended from a rock dove. I don't have the turn off camera redeem for this, so don't worry, I will refund you for that. Still, welcome to today's stream. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, where was I? Sorry. Ah, yes. Um, ah, I was on this page. Sorry. Well, it turned off your mic. Oh. Well, in that case, I will turn that off for this stream then, because I would rather not have that break. Give me two seconds, sorry. Um turn off turn off mic uh, I'll turn off the turn off mic thing for now just so my mic continues um, actually you know what would be a better idea if I just turned off the reward for this stream because I feel like it would be appropriate so we'll turn it off for now thank you for the warning uh, I'm glad that I didn't leave that on by mistake but still welcome Blue, to the stream a pigeon is descended from a rock dove. Twitch glared at the boys through his brandish blonde fringe. He was a bit taller than Azaru and stronger than Terry, but the odds of him surviving a punch-up with either Jack or Vernon were slim, and he had no chance against all four of them. That bird has as much right to live as you do. It's vermin. I mean, twisted smile, Jack's face as he ste- a mean twisted fa- a mean smile twisted Jack's face as he stepped forward. We're performing a public service by exterminating it, isn't it? Uh, it isn't, Twitch. Twitch's forehead bobbled, throbbed, I'm sorry, I can't read today, as Vernon's f- fist tightened around his brick and the terrified bird kept calling. He blinked furiously, trying to calm down. Are you going to stop us? Jack made a so- show of looking past Twitch. On your own? The three boys gathered behind Jack, who was blinking theatrically, mimicking Twitch's nervous habit. Tell me, bird brain, what's it like to be such a loser we- that your only friends have feathers? Yeah, feathers, <laughs> the others echoed. Jack called out to the pigeon. Hey, birdie, don't worry, your best bud is here to save you. He mimed, counting the boys. Oh, wait, there's only one of him and four of us. He pulled a mock sad face and the other boys laughed. Jack grabbed the brick from Vernon, raising it as if to strike the bird. No! Twitch looked forward driving his hand into his pocket and grasping the flint, hurdling it hard. The stone sailed through the air, hitting Jack on the side of the head. Jack cried out, dropping the brick and clutching his hand to his temple. The brick landed on Vernon's foot. He roared, hopping about as Twitch ran headfirst at, uh, into Terry's stomach. Terry fell over with a yelp. Twitch felt Vernon grab him around the middle and whirl him away. He saw Azaru standing at him with a stunned look on his face. 
I'm bleeding, Jack cried, staring at a red smudge on his hand. Twitch felt a flash of satisfaction, but it was cut short by Vernon throwing him backwards. He slammed into the bins. As he hit the ground, all the air was walloped out of his lungs. Uh, can you see me now? I can see your chat. Welcome to the stream, Blue. How are you doing today? It's lovely to have you with us. I'm glad you can make it to the stream. I'm just trying to adjust my microphone and pop filter because it was a little bit off and I don't want to link to fall like that. So we'll be careful and I'll uh, prop him back up just so that he's uh, keeping an eye on you guys as such. There we go. Little buddy is uh, resting up on the mic stand. Enjoying company. There you go, buddy. Twit link there. I can continue looking at you guys and keeping an eye on you while I read out. Twitch, uh, he slammed into the bins, and as he hit the ground, all the air was walloped out of his lungs. His eyes snapped wide as he desperately tried and failed to breathe in. He felt the fire of a kick to the ribs and saw Zoro standing over him. I'm going to need stitches, Jack cursed as a trickle of blood ran down the side of his face. I think... I think my toe's broken, Vernon remarked, apparently unbothered. You'll regret this, Twitch, Jack barked, marching away, shouting over his shoulder. This isn't over! This, sorry, this isn't over, Azaru repeated as he helped Terry to his feet. He was bent double with his arms wrapped around his stomach. Great, sometimes it's as if I've become a ghost and people can't see my messages. I, I was going to say, your messages would show up in the chat box there, so you'll know if you'll be able to be seen or not, because they'll show up in the chat box. What shows up there, I can see, just so you're aware. Anyways, as Izaru and Terry stumbled after Jack, Vernon grinned and Twitch flinched, thinking he was going to punch him, but instead he snorted and lumbered after the others. I think it's a network problem. Most likely, I, I'd imagine so. Twitch lay still, waiting for his breath to return. His ribs were sore, but it was nothing he hadn't felt a hundred times. The main thing was that the bird was alive. Getting to his knees, he crawled towards and panicked cooing. He crawled towards the panicked cooing. Tucking his fringe behind his ear, he saw an unhappy, unhappy rock dove trapped between the brick wall of the chemistry lab and the side of a silver bin. The pigeon's head jerked back. Emerald bib shimmering, its orange eyes staring out of the puffed up ball of storm cloud grey. I'm okay myself. I'm glad to hear, Blue. That's really lovely. Hey, people. Welcome to the stream. Sup, games? I just woke up. Well, hopefully my calm and dulling tones can uh, be a gentle wake up to you waking up. It's so lovely to have you join on stream today. I'm so glad you could make it. Hope you slept well. well what are your plans for today? Uh, the bird had one healthy foot, but the other leg ended in a lump of gristle, and one of its ashen wings was injured, feathers ragged. What did they do to you, eh? Twitch whispered, as a tremor of emotion shook his body. You're scared half to death, he slid off his rucksack and blazer, pulling his uh, jumper up over his head and laying it on his knees. He inched towards the bird, then, in a swift move, he tenderly cupped his hands around it, lifting it onto the jumper. There you go, he cooed, as he pulled up the sides of the sweater to make a dark cocoon for the frightened pigeon. Uh, happy the Ukraine flag is taking the attention of most of the trolls, so our piece is doing well. Shame that it is. But Doggo is trying to nom me. Oh, that's precious. I hope Doggo is having a good time doing so, but, you know, be careful from Doggo. <laughs> Rising to his feet, Twitch cradled the bundle of bird with one arm. He peered over the top of the open bin. There was a stack of flattened cardboard boxes inside. He took one and put it on the ground, folding in the flaps and building the box with his spare hand. Then, he lowered his bundle into it, peeling back the jumper. Lunchtime was nearly over, but Twitch couldn't leave the bird behind, the chemistry block. Jack and his gang would be back, and this time, they would kill it. If he took the bird home, he'd never get back in time for afternoon registration. He'd never get back- uh, he wondered if there was anywhere in the school that he could think to hide until the end of the day, but he couldn't think of anywhere. You're safe here, he, re he said to the distressed bird. Bruku, bruku, the pigeon replied. Twitch stuffed the, his blazer into his rucksack, no longer aware of his bruised ribs or the falling rain. He knew he'd be in trouble, but some things were more important than double PE. Picking up the box carefully, he walked home out of the school gates and headed for home. Chapter 1. It's a shame, but it's a big group, so they hold up well. Good. Whoa, I got gifted a sub and so many emotes. When was this? I wonder who it was from. Chapter 2. Worms for food. 
Three months had passed since which had saved the pit injured pigeon. Walking out of school with the bird in the box had cost him a week of detentions. He'd made an enemy of Jack Kappelman and become somewhat of a social act, more of a social outcast than he already was. But it had been worth it for the bird. Twitch had named the pigeon Scabby on account of his numerous grisly injuries and built him a pigeon loft from a tall, thin wardrobe he'd found at the dump. The pigeon's wounds healed and he was happy to hang around as long as he was being given free food and shelter. To Twitch's delight, a female pigeon took a shine to him and they began courting, eventually building a nest in the loft. She was a pretty bird and a slender white neck and dark eyes set in a charcoal face. He called her Maud, after her grandmother. Wait, since when did I get the six month badge? Since you were subscribed for six months? Either that or you got six gift subs. Do they keep going where you left off? Well, it, the badge is like, just, it doesn't matter if you're on a streak or not. It will just build up the amount of months you've ever been subscribed in before. Within a week of Maud moving in with Scabby, their nest boasted two eggs. From Scabby and Maud's eggs hatched Squeaker and Frazzle, two chicks that began life dodo-shaped and pink with a fine yellow down. Twitch had watched their amazement as over 10 days, they grew bigger, darker and stronger. Now, more than a month after they'd hatched, the squabs looked pigeon-shaped. Today was the last day of school before the summer holidays and the sun shone white hot. The tarmac under Twitch's feet felt sticky as he hurried out of the school gates, the deep green of the distant hills calling to him. The air was charged with the electricity of freedom. The summer holidays rolled out before him like a magic carpet of perfect possibilities. No school, no homework, and pigeons to train. Oi! Twitch! Duck! Something hit his back. Twitch looked round to see what it was. On the ground was a silver takeaway container. Beside it lay scattered bones and charred flakes of brown skin. Peals of laughter instinctively made Twitch drop his chin to, the ch to his chest, letting his hair cover his face. He picked up the pace, jamming his hands into his pockets, his shoulders rising to his ears, knowing if he ran, they would chase him. Sorry, I think that I feel like raising the book higher is probably better for me because uh, I can look more towards the microphone while you guys actually listen. Just moving stuff in the right place. You hungry, Twitch? Someone shouted. Wanna eat a friend? Another silver container hit his leg and bones flew. A girl named Pamela ha 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 sorry, Hardacre made quacking noises and then they all joined in. A mean choir of ducks honking and hooting at him. It's been almost two years, since, two years since I moved to this platform, but we can just stuff that under the rug. Well, hey, it takes a lot of time to learn things sometimes. It's understandable. Duck, get it? Jack called out. Sorry, duck, get it? Jack called out. It's duck, Twitch, so you'd better duck. Another silver missile hit the back of Twitch's head. He felt the scratch of crumbs slipping down the collar of his school shirt and shivered. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it, he called out, putting one foot in front of the other, telling himself that each step he took took him a little closer to home. Then why aren't you laughing? That's the hint of menace. That's... Oh. Then why aren't you laughing? There was a hint of menace in Jack's voice. It's a joke. Where's your sense of humour? Leave me alone, Twitch replied warily. But he knew Jack wasn't going to let him walk away from year seven without punishing him one last time for the pink scar above his cheekbone. Ah, is Carver sad? Jack taunted. Does the dead birdie make him want to cry? There were murmurs and titters as the other children caught the scent of blood. A crowd was building. This is an odd book. Well, it's about, it's starting out showing that the kid isn't exactly like the most liked kid in school. So it's just building up that bit of story before we get to the main part of the story. Don't worry, it's just, it's building up just so you guys understand who Twitch is. It was jarring to hear Jack use his real name. People only did that when he was in trouble. Twitch was a nickname he'd earned because he has a nervous habit of blinking, but he'd always liked the name because his granddad had called, told him a Twitcher was a bird watcher with an interest in rare birds. Everyone called him Twitch. He even thought of himself as Twitch. Someone grabbed his... Oh, Corvus is his real name. Sorry, I got confused there. Uh, someone grabbed his rucksack and yanked him backwards. <laughs> Jack seems like a bit of a dick in the boots. Damn fucking right he is. What an asshole. Real rude ass. Jack stepped in front of him. You should thank me. What for? For bringing you a snack. Jack held the remains of a duck leg in his right hand. He threw his left arm around Twitch's neck, grabbing him in a headlock. Eat it, he growled, thrusting his leg in Twitch's face. Twitch turned his head away, struggling. I'm vegetarian. Jack pushed the scaly duck leg against Twitch's licks. Eat it. Get off, Twitch murmured through his clenched teeth. The smell of the meat was making his stomach turn. 
He didn't want it near his mouth. I'll puke! Jack let go as Twitch retched. Someone swiped at his feet and Twitch fell to the ground. He rolled away, ending up on the grass verge beside the pavement, trapped between Jack and the peeling silver trunk of a birch tree. Ah, Twitch loves the birdies too much to eat them. Jack stood over him, sneering. Excuse me. If he loves birds so much, if he loves birds so much, Pamela's mocking voice called out. Why doesn't he eat what they eat? Yeah, Jack's face at the top. Worms. He glanced over his shoulder at the watching faces. Find me a worm. Twitch is hungry. Twitch tried to get up, but Jack put a foot on his chest. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. Vernon kneeled, pulling a wooden ruler from his bag and started digging in the turf. Terry dropped to his knees beside him. Found one, Vernon said, yanking a wriggling pink spaghetti string from its cool dark hiding place. The birdies are nice, I agree. They're rather rude to the animals. Yummy, yummy, Jack said, holding out his hand for the worm. Open your mouth, Twitch. There's a good baby bird. Vernon handed the worm to Jack. Everyone leaned in to see if Twitch would be made to eat it. A girl called Tara Dabari, who stood beside Pamela, went pale. I can't watch, she murmured, her hand over her mouth. This is cruel. To the worm, Pamela laughed. Ooh, I get her. Oh, I get a reply from Tango. Oh, about what exactly? Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick sip of drink. I'm rather thirsty, sorry. What did he say zero about? With his free hand, Jack grabbed Twitch's chin and tried to prise his mouth open. Twitch shook his head from side to side. Vernon! Seriously, I'm so sorry. I will be... I'll be right back in just a second. I... I'm so sorry. I do apologize. I forgot to mute my phone, but my mother is currently calling me. And since I'm heading home tomorrow, I'll be back in just a second for the moment. I didn't mean to do that. How am I going for? 28 minutes. Sorry, I do apologize. Wait, is that the link on the microphone? What? Link? No, I was just going to... Here, hold on. Uh, I'm going to set the break screen to be desktop audio so you guys don't have to switch between that and break music. So I'll be back in just a second. When I return, we'll continue on our adventures with Twitch. For now, I have to quickly go and call my mother, but I'll be right back, sorry.
Hey guys, welcome again. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake, sorry, we've been going for 37, haven't we? <laughs> here, this one, right, not clicking into this. Welcome, guys, to the stream. It's good to see you all here. I'm glad you could make it. Sorry, I was just uh, in a call with my mother because uh, we were talking about tomorrow's trip. I'm going to be heading back to my family home for the next week, so there'll be no streams next week. Uh, it'll be purely, just completely not happening. Um, but, uh, I will be back the week after, so don't worry. No, Corey, it's going to be calm story time, okay? I mean, I appreciate, I, I appreciate the naming, <laughs> but no, today's going to be calm story. We're, I'm currently reading a book called Twitch by M.G. Leonard, if you're interested in it. It's a story about a bird-watching kid who uses his bird-watching abilities to track down a criminal that recently escaped from the prison nearby his town in England. It's very, very, it's meant to be peaceful, but it's just we're starting out with a bit of backstory behind him. We'd need an 18 plus tag for that, unfortunately. Indeed we would, so it's going to be calm story time today, but I appreciate the wedding nonetheless. Uh, we'll be sticking around, so you guys can hang out and join me for some storytelling if you want. Entirely up to you. It's just going to be one of those calm, peaceful days today, and hopefully my dull, lulling tones can be a little bit of peace in your ma manic, hectic, possibly day. I'm just trying to be really like a calming presence right now. I'm not, I've never really done this before, so it's kind of new to me, but I hope I'm doing okay. And uh, of course, Link is here to join us for a bit of peaceful reading. Uh, so, with this free hand, grab ja for a bit of context to those who have just arrived, uh, Twitch is the main protagonist who is currently, uh, he's basically, sa he's very much into birds to the point that he saved a bird from being killed by a group of bullies. Now, this is all taking place around the age of, I think, Year 7 would have been about the age of 12, 13 year old, so just keep that in mind for the age of the kids. But um, basically they were going to like, you know, kill a bird. And yes, exactly, burb. Soft little burb. I love that. I love that emote. That is so fucking cute. Holy heck. But um, no, he um, wanted to save the bird, so he stopped them by throwing a rock at them. But now they're getting their revenge by uh, trapping him and obviously bullying him and now they're going to feed him a worm so he's currently trying to feed twitch a worm jack being the main uh, bully of the group with his free hand jack grabbed twitch's chin and tried to prise his mouth open twitch shook his head from side to side vernon hold him jack instructed and twitch felt hands lock his head into position terry sit on his legs jack smiled pinching twitch's nose and dangling the worm over his tightly closed mouth you're going to eat the word bird brain hey a man's voice rang out. What's going on? A like a flock, and like a flock of startled startlings, the children scattered. By the time Twitch had sat up, Jack, Vernon, Terry, and the others were pelting their way from up the road. A man wearing a white tee under an open blue checkered sh shirt and a black leather trilby sauntered over. His knowing eye smile was framed by a closed beard and a his blue eyes twinkled. A chunky gold bracelet slid over his wrist as he reached down to help Twitch to his feet. You all right, kid? Twitch nodded. They, your fr they friends of yours? The man had a lilt to his voice, which made Twi Twitch think he was Scottish or Irish. Sorry, they friends of yours? Uh, Twitch shook his head. Enemies? Twitch shrugged. Yeah, I got picked on at school too. The man gave Twitch a sympathetic look. Why the worm? The man was definitely Irish. Oh, why the worm? I'm going to try and do Irish at this point. Please forgive me. Uh, Twitch heard his mum's voice yelling him not to talk to strangers, but she'd never said what to do if the stranger had saved you from being uh, having to eat a worm. He figured he should be polite. I like birds. I keep them. Re really? The man looked surprised. What kind? Pigeons and chickens, but other nests in my garden. Twitch could feel himself blinking. He was uncomfortable talking about himself to grown-ups. Right now, we've got a player of blue tits in our nesting box, and the swallows come back every year. Really? The, my favourite bird is the swift, the man said, looking interested. <gasps> the scythe wing sleep flight sleeper, Twitch said, then blushed. That's what I call them. Swifts. They can sleep and fly at the same time. Uh, that's the one. Lovely little birds. The man gave him a look, as if the two of them understood something few people did. He made an exploding gesture with his hand. They blow my mind, Twitch grinned. I'm just passing through Bridgevale. Thought I might be able to do a bit of bird watching while I'm here. And there might be any good spots you recommend. A wood or that sort of thing. Oh yes. Twitch was thrilled that his saviour was a fellow bird watcher. You should go to the nature reserve. It's called Aves Woods. It's got a mix of habitat and a big patch of wetland. It's a part of a green corridor. A green corridor? 
Heck, now I'm getting wholesome picks. Aw, from who? Who's giving you wholesome picks, people? That's precious. I love that. That's cute. Yeah, you know, a route for migrating birds. There's always a chance of seeing something good in Ave's woods. There are woodpeckers, bullfinches, and kingfishers, too. That's great. Great. That's great, kid. Ave's woods. I'll check it out. The man looked over his shoulder as the sound of approaching police sirens interrupted his train of thought. Hey, news agents, he pointed. I need a paper. How about you go get something sweet to take away the flavour of worm? In exchange for a few local tips, he extended his hand. My name's Billy, by the way. From Tamgo. Aww. What's Tamgo sending you? I'm Twitch. He awkwardly shook Billy's hand as they crossed the road. You don't have to get me anything. I didn't eat the worm. Billy pushed the newsagent's doors open for him. In you go, Twitch. Unusual name, that. Grab yourself a chocolate bar on me. Sugar is good for a shock. Wasn't a shock, Twitch replied. They do it all the time. Even more of a reason, Billy pointed to the rack of sweets. Mr. Bettany, the newsagent, smiled at Twitch. The kindly man who wore a flat cap, indoors and out, employed him on Saturdays to do a paper round. An otter pig and another pig. Ah, that's precious. I'm glad you guys are getting. I'm glad you're getting wholesome picks from the one and only Tamgo. Staring at the brightly coloured sweet wrappers, uh, Twitch was torn between temptation and guilt. His mum would be cross if she found out he'd accepted sweets from a stranger, but he, if he took them to his hides in the woods and ate them there, she wouldn't need to know. And Billy seemed nice. He was a birder like Twitch. Twitch missed having someone to talk to about birds. His granddad had taken him bird watching when he was little. But since he'd passed away, Twitch's expeditions had all been solo. I'm not great at explaining, so I can just send it to you. Well, I'm happy with anything. That's all good. I'll have a look at them later on. He selected a packet of fruit gums because they wouldn't melt and put them on a counter beside Billy's newspaper. He glanced at the headline, Robber Ryan on the Rampage. And below it was a picture of a person with a shaved head. Billy paid Mr. Bettany while chatting am ami uh, amiably about the weather and the state of the roads, as you do in Britain. See you tomorrow, Twitch. Mr. Oh, sorry. See you tomorrow, Twitch. Mr. Bettany waved as they left. Outside, Twitch thanked Billy for rescuing him from Jack and for the fruit gums. You are going to be okay getting home. Twitch's heart jumped. He knew he should be guarded about where he lived. I'll go back home the way I came. Mum will be looking for me, he lied, glancing at Billy between blinks. He wasn't going home, but he wasn't going to admit that to a stranger. Oh, no, not the grandparent. Yes, there was a grandfather that he used to go bird watching with. Uh, smart thinking, Billy tapped his head. Listen, I'm going to check out this Aves woods. Maybe take a walk, a few walks, look at the birds. I'm travelling in my camper van. I was wondering, is there somewhere nearby, out of the way, that I could park? You know, he leaned down and said, uh, out of the side of his mouth, somewhere I won't have to pay. There's, uh, the bottom field off of Patchum's farm, off Bridvale Road, which replied, frowning at his fervid request. He lets people park there sometimes. Patchum's farm. Cheers. That's very helpful. Billy winked conspiratorially. See you around, Twitch. Mind you, mind you, stay away from those worms, he chuckled, lifting his hand uh, lifting his hand in farewell and sauntering off down the road. Twitch stared at Billy's back, watching him go. He felt a flash of guilt for being suspicious of the man, then grinned at the packet of fruit gums. The school holidays hadn't gotten off to a bad start. He turned, going in the opposite direction to Billy, heading straight for his secret hide in Aves Woods. Chapter 3. Aves Woods, appropriately named. Just having a quick drink. I'm a little bit thirsty. Hmm. What's, uh... Excuse me. What's everyone thinking of the stream so far? How are you guys enjoying my storytelling? I feel like I'm... It's going okay, but I'm curious what you guys uh, are thinking. I'm having a really good time with it, and I hope you guys are as well. The Aveswood Nature Reserve was built on an old fly tipping site. Rare plants grew there because fly ash from the local coal mines had made it into the soil al alkaline, and despite the name, not all of it was woodland. Some of it was meadow, and a, med uh, meadow sorry, and a large part of it was wetland. It was a city for insects, a fine dining experience for birds, and Twitch's favourite place in the whole wide world. You never knew what bird might visit the banks of the river Brid, or choose to nest around the pond in the boggy swamp of the wetland. You're doing wonderful games. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, honey. I really hope you guys are just peaceful from the story. It's super nice to be reading. <laughs> Brain blank. Just cat. That will be me tomorrow when I get back home and I get to go and pet my cattos. 
Twitch entered A's woods through a kissing gate beside the canal, which ran almost parallel to the river. Immediately stepping off the footpath, he glanced about, checking no one had seen him, and then dashed through the undergrowth, making his way towards the pond, inhaling the heady scent of pine resin and smiling to himself as he trod carefully over the tree roots and badger sets, trying not to leave footprints that might lead anyone to his hide. Aw, oh, thank you so much for coming by, Captain. I'll speak to you later. It was lovely to have you on stream today, honey. Go and enjoy your food. I hope it's tasty and I hope it's delicious. Excuse me, sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot you have two cats. Indeed I do. No, oh, sorry, I forgot you have cats. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Both adorable. I really like the SRD, dear. Just enjoying the story. It would give me a good reason to finally, you know, read the story because... Uh, I've been meaning to read this for the longest time. I bought it ages ago in a sort of fit of like, I need to read more. And, um, well, I never got really around to doing it. So I'm glad I finally got the chance to do so because I've been wanting to read this book. It's a really good book and it's super fun. I only got about six chapters in, so it's nice to be getting through it for once. Also, what's his name again? Uh, the male cat is called Bear and the female cat is called Rosie. And they are both precious as heck. Moving on to chapter three, The Aves Woods. The Aves Woods Nature Reserve was built on an old flight to pick- I've already read that, sorry. As the ground became mushy and sodden, the trees thinned and he saw the pond stretching out in front of him, its surface shimmering like a mirage in the heat. He heard the mouse-like squeak of an oyster catcher and scanned the reeds for the black and white wader with the long orange beak. But the barking of dogs broke his concentration and he dropped into a squat. Peering through a tangle of brambles, he saw two police officers being tugged along by a pair of excited Alsatians on leads. They were 10 or 11 meters away, off the footpath. Twitch was surprised. It was unusual to see the police in Aves Woods, and he'd never seen them with dogs. He sniffed the air, wondering if some of the college kids had started a fire, but detected no smoke, just the comforting, earthy fragrance of the woods. He was very floofy, if I remember. Correction, he is still extremely floofy. Circumnavigating the pond, wary of the deep pools of water around the bulrushes, bulrushes that masqueraded as solid ground, Twitch picked his way across a clearing towards a thicket of trees. Relaxing now, he knew he was hidden from the public pass by dense foliage and distance. A bone-shakingly loud foot, foot, foot drew his eyes to the sky. Sorry, foot, 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 foot drew his eyes to the sky as a police helicopter flew over, surprisingly low. Alarmed birds flushed from their nests in the tussocks around the water's edge, called out and distressed. Thank you, Peepo, for your contribution towards the maid outfit. Very kind of you. Uh, feeling exposed, Twitch sprinted, ducking as he pushed his way into the shadow, shadowy corpse, uh, ignoring the scratch of wimp-thin branches. Grey, welcome to the stream, sweetheart. It's so lovely to have you with us today. How are you doing? Just reading a story. I'm finally actually reading a book, which is called Twitch by M.G. Leonard. The story of a birdwatching child who uses his abilities to try and find a local prisoner that recently escaped from prison. <laughs> but I'm so glad you could make it. it. It feels like of all people, I'd want you to be listening to me reading a story. How's your day been? I'm sorry I didn't mention to you about Control uh, today, by yesterday, by the way. I should have mentioned it, but trust me, it was a really fun game and I will be playing it again. So hope you look forward to seeing that in the future. Feeling exposed, Twitch sprinted, ducking as he pushed his way. In. Oh, sorry. He glanced about nervously. Thank you for your contribution, by the way, towards the maid outfit. His pulse galloping and his breath short. What were the police looking for? It was a shock to see people here. It was a secluded part of the reserve because of the dangers of the waterlogged land. He stood stock still, watching the helicopter pass, waiting for the peaceful chirps and buzz of the woods to return. Reaching down into a green mass of unfurling fronds, Twitch reached least a coat hanger that was attached to a thin rope looping up into a tree. As he pulled it, a flap of ferns lifted, revealing an opening low to the ground. Hooking the hanger over a branch, he dropped onto all fours and climbed inside his hide. To the left of the door was the watching window, a wide rectangular panel he could be propped open for bird watching. Twitch opened it and peered out. On the far side of the pond, he saw three sailing boats and officers in uniform abroad wearing life jackets, poking about in the reeds with long sticks. He thought about the headline on Billy's newspaper. Sliding his rucksack off, 
Twitch sat down on a blue plastic milk crate that served as a chair or a table and waited for his eyes to adjust to the shadows. In the middle of the floor, directly below the apex of the teepee, was a fire pit encircled with flints. On one, on the, one of the roof sections between the apex and the tree, br tree branch lifted up and flipped over, making a hole to let smoke out. But Twitch hadn't yet let yet dare light a fire for fear it might attract attention. In the beginning, Twitch's hide was just a teepee of sticks built against an ancient beach that grew in a ring of co uh, copiced hazel trees whose roots had woven together to make firm ground. He'd constructed it to watch the wetland birds. Last summer, the teepee had expanded into a wild fort as Twitch's building plans grew more and more ambitious. Beyond the teepee room was a second space that he'd made watertight, so he might camp out here some night. It was the shape and size of a rectangular two-man tent, and constructed from a sheet of plastic thrown over a burrow, uh, sorry, a bow of the beech tree. It was walled in with branches, wedged into trenches in the ground, and tied where they crisscrossed at the top. He'd filled the trenches with soil, baking it up out of uh, rivulets and rain. Riv uh, sorry, rivulets of rain. Gaps were stuffed with leaky sticks, leafy sticks, and he'd woven fern fronds through them, plugging any holes with moss until the hide had blended in with the forest on all sides. Unfortunately, the plants had br had turned br sorry the plants Twitch had used to camouflage it then had turned brown and crumbled. So at the end of last summer, he'd bought his spade to Aves Woods and dug up ferns, teasels, thistles, nettles, and brambles, replanting them around the hide. In the in the spring, as the brambles shot tendrils along the forest floor, he'd woven them into the external walls. The teasels shot up, the thistles fanned out and the nettles multiplied. Together, they created a line of defense, sticky-foot soldiers that kept away the curious with their arsenal of thorns and stings. Everything appeared to be as he'd left it last Sunday. Sweeping his hand across the earth floor, he moved a dirt layer, exposing the top of a buried storage box. He popped off the lid. Inside was his birdwatching kit, and an assortment of useful objects, including a red tartan cushion, dry kindling, an umbrella, a torch, a pair of gardening gloves, and a box of matches in a sealed sandwich bag. He put the fruit gums from Billy into the box and lifted out his most prized possession, the battered leather case that held his granddad's binoculars. The heavy spy glasses evoked memories of quiet hours sat beside the kind old man he thought of his dad, being taught the names of plants while learning to be patient. Patience, his granddad always used to say, is the silent call that brings the owls, the hawks, and the falcons. Twitch hung in the binoculars around his neck and crawled back into the triangular room. Going to the back wall, he slid aside a stumpy branch, as if, a shooting, a, as if shooting a bolt, revealing a hole the perfect size for spyglasses. He slotted. I'm so sorry. He slotted the binoculars into the gap and moved the dial between the lenses until the distant footpath came into focus. Something was happening in Abe's woods, and he wanted to know what it was. His view was patchy, obscured by tree trunks and thorny scrub, but there were three sections of the footpath that he could clearly see. He waited, calm and patient, and was rewarded by the sight of a woman in a suit, followed by a troop of officers in uniform. She was pointing, giving orders. The troop divided and dispersed. Twitch felt a lurch of alarm. The police were searching for someone or something in Aves Woods. What if they came here and discovered his hide? The summer would be ruined. He had made plans. Tomorrow he was going to begin training his squabs, Squeaker and Frazzle. He planned to take them out on their maiden homing flight, then spend the rest of the day here watching the wetland birds, updating his field journal and making improvements to his hide. A flash of yellow caught his eye and he retrained his binoculars. He blinked, surprised to see two girls hiding in the undergrowth, peering over a fallen tree trunk at the footpath. The elder one had a fall the elder one had a waterfall of tight dark curls down her back and brooding elfin features. She was wearing jeans, a rainbow t shirt, and carrying a plastic bag. Ugh, excuse me. The other girl, who looked a few years younger, had honey brown curly hair scraped into a puffy ball bony ponytail on top of her head. She was wearing shorts with a yellow net skirt over the top and a pink vest under a powder blue crisscross cardigan. She looked frightened, huddled up against the older girl. The two girls were alike enough for Twitch to guess they were sisters, although he couldn't hear what they were saying, but he could tell the older girl was reassuring the younger. Their expressions were serious. 
their gestures animated. Could the police be after them? There were too many people stomping about Abe's woods to watch birds, and Twitch was curious to know what was going on. Why was there so many police officers, dogs, and a helicopter in the nature reserve? Keeping his binoculars around his neck, he covered the storage box, sweeping the dirt back over it to keep it hidden. Pulling on his rucksack, excuse me, Twitch left his hide, making sure it was secure. He decided to make his way round to the rabbit track that wove a thin path through the nettles towards the girl's hiding place and see if he could find out what they were up to. Chapter 4. A Silver Kingfisher By the time Twitch reached the end of the rabbit track. Proper! Welcome to the stream! It's a pleasure to have you with us today. How are you doing? Glad you could make it. By the time Twitch reached the end of the rabbit track, the girls had gone. He felt deflated. Now he'd never know why they were hiding or looking scared. He didn't think they were local. He'd never seen them before, and Bridvale was a small town. Most likely, they were early summer tourists. Going over to the fallen tree trunk, Twitch crouched in the same spot the girls had and peered over the top. He had a clear view of the main footpath. At the distant crossroads stood a squadron of police officers with stern faces. Whatever was happening in Abe's woods, Twitch realised with a thrill that he shouldn't be here. He crawled backwards and his eye glimpsed the shimmer of a violent ground beetle Violet ground beetle, sorry, scurrying under leaf mulch, hunting for slugs to eat. It scuttled over a string of blue and green beads, half hidden in the leaves. Good, I'm just stopping by. Well, I'm glad you could stop by and join us for a bit of story time reading. I hope you're having a lovely day. He picked it up between his thumb and forefinger. It was a bra bracelet with a tiny silver bird dangling from it. A kingfisher. It felt like a sign. He slipped it into his pocket. If he saw the girls again, he'd use the bracer as an excuse to talk to them and find out why they'd been spying on the police. Thinking it was best not to look suspicious, Twitch marched upright and noisily through the trees to the main footpath, and sure enough, before he got there, an officer had called him out. You! Young man, come here! Uh, yes, yes, sir! Twitch obeyed. What's going on, officer? He asked. Why are there so many police here? We're combing, we're combing the woods, the officer replied. Are you on your own? Twitch nodded. Bird watching? He pointed at the binoculars around Twitch's neck and smiled. Twitch nodded again. See anyone around here that you don't know? Twitch thought of the two girls, but was already shaking his head. The girls had looked scared of the police, and he didn't want to get them in trouble. Okay, well, I need you to exit that way and go straight home. He pointed in the opposite direction to the way Twitch needed to go. We're clear in the reserve. Uh, yes, officer. Twitch turned and then paused. Is it a bad crime? I mean, no one's been murdered, have they? No, no, nothing like that, the officer assured him. Yesterday, a dangerous prisoner escaped from Dovelock Prison. They've been spotted in the area, and we've reason to believe they are coming here. Why? To collect something, the officer said with meaning. <gasps> Is it Robert Ryan? Twitch asked, recalling the name in the headline. I'm, uh, not at liberty to say, the officer said, nodding. <laughs> I like this officer. Now, please, go home and tell your parents they should lock all the doors and windows tonight, all right? Off you go. Twitch hurried away and down the path. Robert Ryan was in Bridvale. He pictured a tall figure dressed like a highwayman with a black mask and carrying a pistol. The thought of a gun made him pick up his pace. Exiting the reserve through the east gate meant going all the way round to the road bridge, over the canal to get home. He shoved his hands into pockets, felt the bracelet, and looked about. Where had those two girls disappeared to? He was curious about them. He wondered if they needed help. Hmm. That's okay, people. Go and enjoy your luck. Good luck with whatever you're up to, friend. <laughs> hmm. Dry lips. A noise knocked him out of his thoughts and stopped him in his tracks. He'd heard someone cry out. Every muscle in Twitch's body was rigid as, he heard, as his heart hammered against his ribs and he listened. He looked about, hoping to see an officer but they were all behind him up the path. Should he run and get help? What if it was nothing? What if it was the girls? He decided to take a look. If he saw Robber Ryan, he'd run back, shouting the alarm. Dropping to a crouch, Twitch stealthily made his way through the trees, pausing when he heard voices. Shut up, you wuss. Uh, shut up, you wuss, said a mean voice. I'm sorry, came a whimper. The police were everywhere, the mean hit voice hissed angrily. You trying to get us in trouble? No, I swear. Arriving behind a broad oak, Twitch rose, pressing his body against its trunk. Stealing himself, he peeked out. To his surprise, 
he saw Jack Kappelman about five meters away amongst the trees, facing two notorious billy bullies from Bridvale College, Richard Peake and Tom Madden. Peaky and Madden, as they were known to all in Bridvale, were dressed in blue tracksuits and wearing white headphones around their necks like jewellery, because of course. Madden, the bigger of the two, had his baseball cap on backwards, as if to proudly display the acne that accented the fury in his tiny eyes. Peaky was lean, with dark, greasy hair and a cruel smile. He held a lit cigarette and was blowing smoke in Jack's face. You're going to find us that money, Madden grabbed Jack by the scruff of his t-shirt. We want it. I, I don't know where it is, Jack squealed, looking terrified. The police reckon Ryan's here. Stand to reason, the money's here too, Madden said. You don't break out of jail and come to a dump like this, unless it's to get your loot. Nah, you get on a plane there, a plane to Barbados, Peaky sucked it hard at his cigarette, nodding as if he knew about these things, which he does not. You're not going to look for that money, Madden ordered. Sorry, you're go you are going to look for that money, Madden ordered. When you find it, you're going to give it to us. Or else. But the police are everywhere. But the police are everywhere, Jack whispered, looking like he desperately wished they'd, they'd appear. There was a certain amount of satisfaction in seeing Jack being bullied, only an hour after he tried to force Twitch to eat a worm. But these were older boys, and they had a reputation for hurting people. Twitch considered creeping away and leaving Jack to his fate, but he knew his granddad wouldn't have approved. He used to tell Twitch that if he found himself in a situation where he didn't know what to do, he should do whatever would make him feel proud later even if it was difficult. Twitch knew that if he left Jack in the hands of Peaky and Madden, they would surely hurt him. Ah, Captain, welcome back. How was your food? I hope it was delicious. Ugh. So, do it tomorrow morning, Peaky said. Round up your gang of plebby schoolmates and search the woods. But what if I didn't want to? Jack whined. It's the summer holidays. I don't care, Madden shut Jack. This is a five million quid we're talking about. You're going to search every inch of this place till you find that money, or else I'll break every single one of your fingers. Peaky, Peaky laughed broadly. I hope some of your friends can swim. Yeah, look in the pond and the river, Madden said, letting go of Jack, who stumbled backwards. Unless you don't want to help us, Peaky threw his cigarette on the ground and stamped on it, looking at Jack as if he was next. Oh, it was good. Ooh, what did you have? Uh, I, I do, Jack whimpered. I will. It was the smouldering stub that spurred Twitch into action. It was one thing for Peaky to suck toxic smoke into his body, but to dump the butt on the ground and poison the soil or a living creature was just too much. As Twitch hurried back to the path, he heard Jack begging. Please don't hurt me. I'll find the money. Yes, officer. Yes, officer, Twitch called out loudly, cupping his hands around his mouth so his voice would carry. I heard voices this way, over there through the trees. Do you think it could be the escaped robber? He, gra he crashed towards them, making as much noise as possible, grabbing a stick and thwacking it into the undergrowth. By the time he reached Jack, Peaky and Madden had gone. Jack stared at Twitch, then looked past him for the police officers before realizing there was none. His expression changed from shock to confusion that Twitch had helped him. Then he scowled, realizing that Twitch must have seen him being bullied by Peaky and Madden. Twitch thought Jack was going to say something, perhaps thank you, but instead he turned and ran away into the trees. Picking up the cigarette butt, Twitch wondered if he was going to regret helping Jack. He hadn't looked grateful. He looked angry. So you don't get beaten up for trying to help someone, because it would suck indeed. Sorry, pages are a little stuck together. Just some simple but yummy sausages and macaroni. You know what, I should make some food after stream, because I could do with some tuna pasta, I think. It'd be nice. Ah, this is nice. I like this. Toxins! Welcome to the stream, honey. Pleasure to have you with us today. How are you doing? <laughs> of course. I'm so sorry. I'll stop biting my nails. But I'm glad you could join us for today's reading stream. Ah, uh, thank you very much for the huggy. I would give you a hug, but I'm, I'm a little bit achy today. Sorry. Oh, I do need to stretch, though. <sighs> but I'm glad you're good. What have you been up to today? We're moving now on to chapter 5 of the book, Clarity Cat, or Clarty Cat, sorry, not Clarity. I'm going to lean forward a little bit. My back's aching a tad. Mm. Hold on, get a nail. <laughs> Twitch ran up to the battered blue front door. His battered blue front door. Slipped his key into the lock and let himself in. 
I'm home, he called, dropping his rucksack and lifting off his binoculars, hanging them over the banister as he went into the kitchen. Mom, have you heard? A robber's escaped from prison. The police think he's in Bridvale. Thank you for the lurk, by the way, Toxin. It's very nice of you. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay uh, because I have swimming. Well, you go and enjoy your swimming. I'm just glad you could make it even for a short time. Hello, pet. How is school? Twitch's mum, Iris Featherstone, smiled at him from the old leather armchair. The shadows around her eyes all showed she was tired from her shift at the Elderberry Care Home. She still had on her light blue work tunic. A blaze of evening sunlight streamed through the window behind her, crowning her fine, grey blonde, scraped back hair with a halo. She looked like a benevolent angel. Her hands were cupped around a steaming mug of tea, and her bare, bunion blighted feet were resting on the lumpy footstool. School was brilliant, Twitch said. Sorry, school was brilliant, Twitch said, filling a glass from the tap, because it finished. <laughs> he downed the water, suddenly realising how thirsty he was. Speaking of which, I'm going to have another drink myself. I'm actually quite thirsty too. Excuse me, sorry. Oh. Leading over the sink to the window ledge, he switched the radio on. A tune was playing, so he turned the volume down and said, A robber has escaped from Dudlock Prison. The police are searching Abe's Woods. He checked the clock. It was nearly 6.30. Do you think it will be on the news? Abe's Woods? Abe's Woods? I went there after school. There was a police helicopter and an officer sent me home. He said he sh we should lock all the doors and windows. Oh dear, his mum blinked, looking dazed. That's a bit frightening. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Thanks, Pickle, she smiled warmly. I can make dinner if you like, Twitch offered. If the chickens have been laying, we could have an omelette and chips. Omelette and chips sounds lovely, and we have plenty of eggs, but I'll make it, pet. You see to the birds. Twitch pointed at the machine gun size orange. Hold on. Page. If I could get it. There we go. Twitch pointed to the machine gun orange water pistol that was leaning against the armchair. <laughs> You're nearly out of ammo. When I got home from work, I just put my feet up when Clarty Cat came noisin nosing around, she scowled. He's after the blue tit chicks. They're vulnerable being so close to fledging. I hate that. Oh, he's after the blue tit chicks. They're vulnerable being so close to fledging. I hate that cat, Twitch murmured, scanning the high wall that enclosed their back garden. Sounds like a nice family. Yeah, Mum seems really sweet. I'm glad that they get along so nicely. Well, today he got a soaking. Her blue eyes twinkled profoundly as she took a sip of tea. He'll not be coming back in a hurry. Twitch grinned. Nice one, Mum. The radio issued a series of beeps signalling the news headline. He turned it up, but the doorbell went, and so he ran to answer it. Excuse me. Twitch! A meter Inglenock greeted him with a smile as he opened the door. I come bearing gifts and compostables. She thrust an old square tw tin at him. Brimming with sweet corn husks, wilting lapis, lettuce, and apple cores. Hey, Varrock, welcome to the stream today, honey. I'm so glad you could join us. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. I'm just reading uh, a book right now called Twitch by M.G. Leonard. Uh, and I thought I'd uh, sit down and relax and you guys could join me today. How's your day been? How are you feeling? Oh, brilliant. The chickens will be delighted. Twitch moved backwards to let her in. Well, you tell those ladies I expect them to turn my compost into yummy eggs for breakfast, hmm? No clucking excuses. She softly past him in her lilac saree uh, and beige cardigan, cackling at her own joke. Twitch lived in the... Well, Twitch lived somewhere, but unfortunately my light died, so we'll never know. Twitch lived at the end of a row of small terraced houses. A meter shared an adjoining wall and had always been their next door neighbor. Her house had a mirrored layout to this, but where his house had wood chip wallpaper, painted Mongolia, and furniture they'd inherited from his grandparents, a meter's house was a riot of patterns, curious object, and clashing cushions. He followed her back through the kitchen, hurrying to the radio. Iris, how are you doing? No, no, don't get up, please. I'll sit down. Amita put her large wicker picnic basket with twin lids on the table and took out a Tupperware pot. My feet ache from doing the bath bath today, Iris replied as Amita pulled out a chair. But I'm fine. Shh. Twitch turned up the radio, and as loud as it would go, as they were silenced by the rounded vowels of the woman reading the news. The police are searching for a convinced, uh, convicted armed robber who had escaped from Dovelock Prison yesterday afternoon. Are you hungry? Amita opened the plastic container and offered it to him. I made, um, Kachoris to send to Rami and Danvir. 
They miss their Amma's cooking. Would you like one? I don't know why, but this reminds me of Lord of the Flies. I've never actually read Lord of the Flies before. I know it's about like them being left on an island, isn't it? Twitch took one of the flattened spicy balls of bread. Uh, let's see. My grandmother left me at the house and went to Florida without me today, so I'm very lonely right now. Well, hopefully, honey, you you joining us for some story time will be a bit of a, uh, you know, jog up with uh, keeping with someone. Because don't worry, you, you can hang out with us and have a good time with us together. I'm just reading my story and you can join in and have a quick li and have a listen to it while you relax. Hopefully the uh, calmness of the story and music is uh, relaxing in some way because I've never done this before. So this is all very new to me. Vin, uh, welcome to the stream as well. It's a pleasure to have you today. How are you? Uh, so glad you could make it. Thank you so much for coming by. I'm just reading a story right now called Twitch by M.G. Leonard. A story of a birdwatching boy who finds that a prisoner has escaped into the forest that he often does his birdwatching and uses his abilities to see if he can track down the, the prisoner. But very calm. I'm glad to hear. That's great. I'm, I'm glad that it's calm and we'll continue on for now, but I'm glad that you guys could make it and join me. Twitch took one of the flattened spicy balls of bread as he listened to the news. Amita's children were all grown up now. They had children of their own, but she still cooked for them, posting them home-baked treats. Sorry, I'm shaking, by the way. It's kind of my um, leg twitching. Excuse me. Uh, still cooked for them, posting them home-baked treats in the hope they remember how much they missed her food and visit more often. You are too skinny, she poked him gently. Your chickens are fatter than you are. You're a growing boy. You must eat more. Did you hear about the escaped robber? Twitch nodded at the radio, hoping, Ami hoping Amita would stop talking about it so she could listen. I failed English GCSE because English reading is not my thing, but listening to stories? Now that's my thing. Well, I'm really glad that hopefully... I'm really glad that I can provide today and uh, bring some peaceful storytelling to the world of Twitch. Uh, God, that sounded really... Uh, uh, like cheesy. Sorry about that, but uh, hopefully you do enjoy the storytelling nonetheless. If you're interested in the book, consider checking it out. Buy the book. I won't be reading the whole thing today, but I will certainly recommend that you do get there because uh, it'd be lovely to read along with other people. But, uh, dear me, yes, it is very frightening. That robber could be anywhere, hiding in Bridfail. Her eyes grew wide. And did you hear that Ryan is a killer? You got killed? Twitch asked. A meter suddenly had his complete attention. Ryan's gang attacked a security van from the bank. She leaned forward. Her silver eyebrows raised and her brown forehead creasing as she looked from Twitch to Iris and back to Twitch. They stole five million pounds. Five million? Twitch echoed, realising in Meta's story matched what Pekin and Madden had been saying in Abe's woods. Yes, and Ryan was the worst of them. Why? Because after the riot robbery, Ryan killed all the other robbers. She dragged a finger across her throat, then escaped with the money and hid. Nobody know. Where did they go? <clears throat> Nobody knows, but the police never found it. That's five million pounds that's still out there somewhere. It's quite the treasure, eh? Mm. Sorry, I really need a drink. Mm. Mm. There we go. Um, ah, Trish, Trish Tara or Trix, Trick, uh, I'm assuming Tra Trish Tara or something along those lines. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, but welcome to the stream, lovely. How are you doing? It's lovely to have you join us today. We're having a bit of a calm, peaceful reading stream. Um, just as a small warning, this is not usually how my streams are. They're very loud, energetic, intense. So if you're a new viewer here and you're interested in following, please do consider following, but keep in mind that we don't usually do this. This is very off the cuff, very new for me. So I don't want to give you the wrong impression and have you follow and not be interested in the channel, but I just thought I'd let you know. But welcome to the stream today, lovely. What brings you home, if I may ask so kindly? It's lovely to have you join the chat, especially. What else was he saying? Uh, let's see. She dragged a finger across her throat, then escaped with the money and hid it. Where? Nobody knows. The police never found it. That's five million pounds still out there somewhere. It's quite the treasure, hmm? To which Nod nodded, thinking about what the police officers in Aves Wood had said. Sure is. You can call me Tara. Nice to meet you, gorgeous. Oh, you're too kind. As a small forewarning, you know what? Another thing real quick. I'm kind of got a filter on because I thought it'd be more peaceful. So my skin isn't that smooth, but I'm still flattered by the compliment nonetheless. Um, it's lovely to meet you, Tara. I'm so glad you came by today and you're such a flatterer. What, uh, what brings you here? Out of curiosity, just while I'm uh, reading my book, which, by the way, is called Twitch by M.G. Leonard, if you're interested in giving it a look. 
Uh, imagine if you found it, Twitch. It would be br it would be brilliant, he whispered, thinking of the expensive camera with the long lens that he secretly dreamed of owning to photograph his birds. Slenderman Therapy, welcome to the stream. So lovely to have you join us today. Hi. I hope you're well. Thank you so much. What brings you to today's stream, if I may ask? Oh, sorry, what brings you to today's stream? Stupid question, you already follow, but thank you so much for coming by. We're just reading a story of uh, Twitch by MG Leonard, if you're interested in giving a look online. But welcome, how are you feeling today? We would be rich, and we would be rich, Amita clapped, and Iris laughed at the pair of them. Take more kachoris, Amita nudged Twitch with the Tupperware pot. I can tell you're hungry. I can tell you're hungry. It is not known if the convict is armed, the newsreader, newsreader read. The public are advised not to approach the escape prisoner and are to report any sightings to the police. Sorry, I did not mean to hit my desk there. I'm so sorry. I don't mind quiet streams. I come here because I found you on my Twitch recommendations and I'm already liking it here. Oh, I'm so flattered. Uh, I'm so glad you do like it. Oh, video pause. Continue watching. Yes. Oh, it, com it pauses the video if you're gone for too long. That's nice. Hmm. But dude, that's, uh, that's so nice. Oh, I'm really glad that you do like the channel. I'm doing well, thank you, by the way. How are you? I am doing wonderfully. I've never really done a calm stream like this before. This is very new to me. Uh, this is very much like a whole different experience. So I'm really... It's nice to try something different for once. I wanted to... Thank you very much for following, by the way. Sorry for the uh, muted sounds, but we do appreciate you following very much, Tri uh, Tara. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have you part of the channel. Again, it's just nice. I, I am doing really well because, um, well, today's been mainly calm. I um, woke up a little bit early, but I've been meaning to pack today because I'm heading home to go and visit my family for the week tomorrow. So this will be my last stream for the week. You've come at a bit of a bad time. Excuse me, sorry. Unfortunately, because I won't be streaming for the next week, but I will be on the week after continue on my schedule uh, as normal. So if you're interested in sticking around, be sure to keep an eye out for the week afterwards. Also, I love the way that you call everyone love. That's really, really cute. But yeah, I'm doing great. And I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that you came by and decided to follow. It's very appreciative indeed. Uh, what have you been up to today? What have you been doing? I'm curious uh, about the people that come by. And I'd, I'd love to know what you've been up to. Let's see. It is not known if the convict is armed, the news reader read. The public are advised to not approach the prisoner and to report any sightings to the police. Today, I made a raspberry jam from my allotment canes. Amita lifted one of her basket's hinged flaps and bought out three pots. These are for you. Oh, lovely, Iris said. We'll have a dollop in our rice pudding tonight. But while I was making the jam, I had an accident. Amita opened the basket's other flap, glancing at Twitch before she lifted out an ocean blue teapot decorated with an ornate gold pattern of star-like flowers. Oh, Amita, your beautiful teapot, Iris cried. What happened? Uh, I was sterilizing the jam jars and dropped one onto my teapot. It sheared the handle right off. A teapot is no use without a handle. She held it out to Twitch. I thought you might like to take it for your collection. He took it reverently and sat it down on the kitchen counter. Thank you. I haven't done much today. I went to work until 3pm, had lunch and went shopping for a bit. Ooh, what did you get from your shopping trip? Or uh, what did you get up to? Or, or did you get anything good from your shopping trip? Or just one of those like grocery shopping trips that were kind of necessary? Twitch had long admired Amita's big blue teapot. It would be the prize pot of his collection. He lifted the lid, the broken handle, inside. Don't you want to glue the handle back on? I could do it for you. Goodness me, no, it's not safe. What if the glue were to go into the pot when it was full, hmm? I could drop a pot of scalding hot tea onto my legs. Burns are terribly too slow to heal, and I'm too old to live so dangerously. I'll hang it in the tree tomorrow, Twitch promised, smiling at his mum. Uh, I've planted some oregano in thyme, replanted the chickpeas that had sprouted in a bowl I forgot about. Oh, that's so lovely! What do you plan to do with the herbs? Are you going to make a- what sort of meal you plan to make with them? Is a good question, actually. It will give me a great feeling of pre great pleasure to look from my window and see it feeding the birds, Amita said. Amita, I wanted to ask you a favour. Oh. Amita, I wanted to ask you a favour. The girls from work have invited me out on Tuesday. Would you be able to keep an eye on Twitch for me? Mom, I'm 12 years old, Twitch protested. I don't need a babysitter. Don't worry, I won't cramp your style, Amita winked to Iris. Have you got plans for your summer, Twitch? Any big parties? Mm -hmm. I'm going to train my pigeons, Twitch replied, emptying the tin of scraps into a bucket by the back door and returning to Amita. Train them for what? The Olympics? Amita chuckled. To be homing pigeons and carry messages like the ones in the Second World War. Twitch's eyes landed on Amita's picnic basket. 
I'm adding love to my uh, to my page. Oh, that's precious. I love it. I always wanted to grow my own herbs like basil and parsley. You know, back in a um, bit of a quick tangent here. Back in my uh, when I when I lived in my old house before the one that I live in now, technically, um, we actually did have a whole like bush of thyme, and we actually at one point grew our own strawberries as well because we had a long row of dirt between like a, a concrete path on the left of the garden and the rest of it being grass. So we had this nice little patch of strawberries, and then to the end of it, we had some thyme with which we could just throw in the. Uh, whenever my dad made pasta, he'd always throw the thyme in, and it would just taste excellent. Let's see, I went shopping to get a birthday card, cat food and groceries. Oh, that does sound like a good day. What have you been up to, love? Also Easter eggs. Good. Very good. Easter eggs are always good. Unfortunately, I've eaten all of mine, but that's because I wouldn't be able to take them with me. So they'd just be sat here for a week and then I wouldn't get to eat them, which seems a bit of a shame. But um, that does sound good. I have personally not been up to much. <laughs> I, I haven't really done a lot today. I've kind of been um, meaning to get round to uh, packing up for tomorrow when I head out to my parents' house for the week. So mainly packing and just uh, getting ready for the day. You know, general stuff, nothing too crazy. But I'm glad you had a good time with groceries. It sounds like you got good on Easter eggs. What kind of Easter egg did you get? Is my good question. Because it's usually just Easter egg, but there's always a theme. And I would love to know what theme it is. It's kind of nice to dig into the soil, some soil with great reading in the background. Aww, I'm so glad I can help with that. I'm flattered, thank you, Gray. Also, have you ever heard of a pronouns page? No, but I would love to give that a look at some point. I don't think I've heard of that before. Thank you for letting me know of it. Let's see. Good. So on Tuesday, when you want to get Auntie Amita to come and read you a bedtime story, you send one of your pigeons with a message, and I'll bring me spectacles. Amita beamed, and Twitch's mom laughed. But Twitch wasn't listening. Uh, Amita, can I borrow your basket? There's something I want to do tomorrow, and it would really come in handy. Amita pursed her lips. I'll lend you the basket in exchange for two eggs. Deal. Twitch picked up the bucket of scraps. I'll go feed the chickens and see if they're any freshly laid. Be careful out there. Amita waggled a finger at him. There's a murder on the loose. Yeah, but he's not going to be hiding in our back garden, is he? Twitch replied, opening the door. Anyway, we've got the birds to protect us. <laughs> Just don't forget to make sure make some holes for the excess to water to drain. Ah, I see. Wait, is it Easter already? I don't know exactly. I can't exactly remember when Easter is. Uh, Easter... Easter is the 17th of April. It's not for a little while, but I don't have that long to wait for to save Easter eggs. So, yeah, the 17th. Makes sense. Also, may I join your Discord, gorgeous? Oh, honey, you're such a flatterer. Of course you may. If you wish to do exclamation mark Discord, you can join the Discord server and hang out with us there. It's a lovely place. It's super peaceful and we all have a good time together. By the way, fun fact, this is the ch chapter that I left on on. So from this point forward, I'm about as clueless as to what's going to happen as you are. So we're all reading together. Chapter 6, The Teapot Tree The teapot tree was an old wild lilac that grew in the middle of Twitch's garden. From its thatch of leaves and white blooms peaked his collection of broken teapots. Some were hung by their handles and stuffed with straw ready for any bird searching for a nesting box. Others had holes where there should have been spouts and were filled with bird seed or fat balls. There were 16 brightly coloured teapots hanging in the trees like exotic fruit. Amita's blue pot would be the 17th. Aw, oh, yes, thank you so much all for coming by. Oh, It is egg month. I shall enjoy egg. Wonderful. The first teapot had been his grandmother's big yellow six copper. When the lid had smashed, his mom had cried, and so Twitch had announced that they should hang it in the lilac tree as a bird feeder in lovely memory of Maud Featherstone. Over time, other teapots had joined it now. Now, when his mom looked at the teapot, her face lit up with a smile that made Twitch's soul lift like a red kite on an updraft. Oh dear, I have to buy some stuff for the celebration. Easter cakes won't make themselves, Umu. <gasps> oh my god, I'd love to try some of your Easter cakes. I bet they taste delicious. And for those of you who don't know, Gray is an incredible cook. He does a really good job and I would love to try some of his food someday. He works really hard on what he makes, so I'd love to try some of it. As he passed under the tree with the bucket of scraps, Twitch scanned the branches for a spot to hang Amita's teapot. He thought it would make a good drinking fountain if he secured the lid below the spout to catch rainwater. Joined, very, very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, Tara. You are an absolute gem and a sweetheart, and I very much appreciate you joining the community. It's lovely to have you here. He thought it would make a good 
drinking fountain if he secured the lid below the spout to catch rainwater. A cool breeze tussled his hair and, a, and he suddenly shivered, his eyes darting to the shadowy parts of the garden, checking for men in black masks. But he knew there would be no one hiding in the bushes, but his mind was alert and jumpy. He stopped still as a thought popped into... Oh, my mouse is making loading symbols. I'm just going to hide it because it's throwing me off a little bit. Um, he stopped still as a thought popped into his head. He just, uh, Amidst the drama of Aves Woods, he'd forgotten about Billy. Billy, a stranger, who'd appeared in Bridvale that very day and asked him for an out-of-the-way place to park his van. Uh, he felt that this was a suspicious, a suspicious coincidence. Could Billy be something to do with the robber Ryan? He'd been wearing a hat. Was there a shaved head underneath it? Was he the escaped criminal? As he walked to the end of the garden, he ran through the events that had taken place the, uh, that afternoon. Billy scaring away Jack and the others, helping him to his feet, chatting about birds, going into the newsagents to buy the newspaper and fruit gums. He hadn't seemed like a robber or a murderer. Twitch had liked him. Opening the gate to the chicken run, he crossed the bald dirt, broken by rashes and dandelions and a clump or two of grass, and peered into the brick outhouse. Once a toilet, it was now a chicken coop. The hens were shut in every night to keep them safe from predators. Twitch was five when his granddad had taken out the lavatory, installing shelves and nesting boxes for their first chickens. He remembered it fondly. Reaching in, he collected two eggs, one fawn and one dark beige. It struck him, it struck Twitch that there were only two things odd about Billy. The first was him asking about somewhere to park his camper van, and the second was him talking about to Mr. Old, old Mr. Bettany about the weather and the state of the roads when his newspaper headline provided a much more interesting and current topic for conversation. Had Billy purposefully steered the conversation so as not to have a talk about the robber Ryan's escape. Fandango, a rust-coloured chicken with a buff breast and feathered shanks that looked like boots, strutted towards him, her scarlet wobble, wattle wobbling. She had gotten her name from the way she moved, performing a Spanish dance of, uh, performing a Spanish dance of wing flaps, head jerks, and claw stumps. Dodo, Twitch's fat red hen, was hunkered down in a wheelbarrow of straw. Her beetle black eyes were fixed on the bucket he was carrying. Dodo was lazy. If a fox ever got into the enclosure, she'd be dead in an instant. And even her squawks were lackluster. The only thing that made Dodo move fast was the rain. She hated getting wet. Making some lunch, but it feels more like a breakfast feel. Well, depends on what time it is. I'd say breakfast is anything before 12. I know a lot of people say 10, but no, come on, let's be real. 12 is midday. Anything before that counts as morning. Breakfast is in the morning. Makes sense. Eggbum, the oldest and Twitch's most beloved chicken, whose name came from her being a great layer of eggs, appropriate, was sat in a terracotta plant pot of soil, growling with pleasure, ple pleasure as she gave herself a dust bath. She fluffled up her white feathers, kicking a cloud of dirt over her head and a fleshy red cone. Okay, ladies, grubs up. Twitch shook the bucket and he went to, to, went to their trough. Fandango ran with jerky strides, zigzagging to his side. Dodo clucked, barely bothering to flap her wings as she tumbled gracelessly from the wheelbarrow. There's plenty for everyone, he said as he poured the scraps onto the trough. Come on, Eggbum, it's supper time. Fandango and Dodo pecked hungrily at the food. Eggbum took her time coming over, loving the name. I meant like the food I'm making, potato, bacon, and eggs and cheese. Ooh, that does sound nice. I could do with some of that. God, you know what? I'm rather hungry, but I'll make some tuna pasta later, just before the uh, just after stream. Do you prefer Discord for or chat for a link to the site? Um, what site exactly? Oh, just put it in Discord because I can have a look at it later on. I'm sorry I haven't responded to you on Discord, by the way. Today, I haven't really had a chance to respond to much. I woke up a little bit late, so I haven't had a chance to do much. But don't worry, I will respond later and I'll check out our place. I just haven't had time to have a look around. Games I'd happily cook for you. Oh, people. Oh, I would happily give cuggle, cuddles and expect change and help you fix up your PC whenever it needed fixing. And also help it, you upgrade it. That would be my uh, part of the bargain, if you will. Um, on a hunch, Twitch went over to the pot where she'd been having her bath. Bingo. He picked up the worn, pale oval, adding it to the two in his left hand, and a thought struck him as he made his grab, ma as he made him, as, that made him gasp. When he'd been telling Billy about A's Woods, they'd heard police sirens. Billy had glanced over his shoulder and then suggested to go into the newsagents. Ah, oh, uh, you know what, Tara, you know what, just for you, because you're a new viewer. 
Sorry, I'm not chatting much. I'm being active under... No, no, no. Don't apologise. It's a reading stream. You're just enjoying the reading. I'm not too in I'm not too bothered. It's all good. I'm just flattered to have you here. Since you're a first-time viewer, I wouldn't do this because I'm a bit achy, but you know what? When you hug me with... When you hug through the command, it's just a hug, but with points, you actually get a hug. So come on, bring it in. Get a hug. There we go. Don't mind Twit. Don't mind Linky there staring at you deep into your eyes, but uh, there you go. Ah, good old huggy. I hope you enjoyed. I loved hugging you. It was awesome. But yeah, if you redeem points for hugs, you get hugs. It's understandable that you've watched long enough that you should actually get to have some hugs. Yeah, just getting comfy, sorry, my be. I'm just listening as well. Exactly, it's all good. Don't worry about talking, it's all fine. But I'm really flattered that you would even want to talk while I'm reading the story. Oh, so the link plus is real. Genuinely could not tell. No, it's actually real. I uh, I can't touch him because he'll move, but he is real. Yeah. No, I, I propped him up on the microphone. I'm impressed that I, you couldn't tell. That actually is a pretty good thing. Oh, thanks, gorgeous. You're so understanding and lovely. Well, of course. You guys are listening to me read. It's only fair that, you know, don't need to worry about typing when you're listening. So don't worry. It's all good. I'm, again, I'm just really flattered that you're so understanding as well. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Let's see. He picked up the warm, pale oval, adding it to the two in his left hand, and a thought struck him. Oh, sorry, we've already been through this. Billy had wanted to buy him sweet. Hadn't wanted to buy him sweets. He wanted to get off the street until the police had gone. Interesting. Make it as quiet as possible, just so it's not too uh, distracting for you guys. Twitch was unsettled by this thought and uncertain of what to do. Returning to the kitchen, he said nothing, not wanting to worry his mother and knowing she'd tell him off for talking to a stranger. He showed Amita the three eggs, saying all the girls laid today. Amita, pushing her picnic basket across the table and held her hands out for the eggs. We have a deal, she said happily as Twitch handed her two of the eggs. Grabbing the basket, he made his excuses and hurried up the stairs to the bathroom. He needed to establish the facts of the case in his head. Billy wanted to park his van somewhere free and private. Billy seemed to be avoiding the police by entering the newsagents. Billy might have steered the conversation away from Robert Ryan. None of these things were a crime, and Billy had saved him from eating a worm. Twitch sighed. If the man had some, was something to do with the escaped convict, the police would catch him. There was nothing he could do. You guys have fun. I'll be back, Jax. That's all right, honey. Good luck with whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for being here. Love you very much, and I'll be sure to have a good time reading. Instead, he'd concentrate on his plan to train his squabs. When training pigeons, Twitch knew it was important to get them to recognize home as soon as they were old enough to fly, but too weak to fly well, or they would disappear into the sunset. Going to get a little drink. Good call. I might actually have a quick sip myself because I'm a little bit thirsty. Excuse me. You know, it's interesting. After so many time, after so many streams doing such a loud voice, doing a calm and quiet voice is both a little, like, almost restricting. Like, I can feel myself wanting to talk louder. And it's also kind of putting more strain on my throat than it would if I was talking loudly. It's very odd. I think your voice just, just, just gets so used to talking in a certain way that speaking quietly is very new to me. It's weird, but interesting. When training pigeons, Twitch knew it was important to get them to recognize home as soon as they were old enough to fly, but too weak to fly well, or they would disappear into the sunset and never return. Older pigeons really weren't trainable. Uh, weren't trainable. One of the reasons Scabby had stuck around was because of his injuries and the free food. Pigeons were intelligent birds. You sound really good speaking this way, not gonna lie. Oh, very, very glad to hear that. That's honestly really flattering. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Sorry, I realised I had very angry eyes that whole time I was talking, so I tried to have some kind ones. But seriously, thank you. That means a lot to me, Captain. You're very kind. Putting the picnic basket on the floor, Twitch put up a small blue watering can and filled it from the bathroom tap. Clambering out of the window onto the flat kitchen roof, he pictured Mom and Amita looking up at the sound of his feet above their heads. The wardrobe come pigeon loft had four stubby legs and stood to the left of the window against the brick wall. Twitch had spent his Easter holidays building it in two of the four wooden crates that he'd bolted inside the wardrobe to make nesting boxes. Uh, to make nesting boxes set a pair of pigeons. 
uh, sorry. In two of the four wooden crates that he bolted inside the wardrobe to make nesting boxes sat a pair of pigeons. Scabby and Maud in one, Frazzle and Squeaker huddled in another. Come on, squabs, he said softly through the mesh in the door. Time to stretch your late wings. Let's teach you to use the trap door. He put his hand through the cat flap like holes to the top of the door so you can get in by yourselves. He unlatched the wardrobe door and opened it wide. Maud shot out over his shoulder like a missile. Leaving the door behind, Twitch sat down, stretching out his legs, enjoying the heat radiating from the back bit bitumen, black bitumen roof. He watched Maud circle as she climbed, getting smaller and smaller, and his thoughts turned to Jack Kappelman. What had he done to get on the wrong side of Peaky and Madden? Twitch almost felt sorry for him, but then he remembered the worm. Go on, he said to the two squabs cowering in the wardrobe. Go join your mum. As if hearing him, Squeaker, the paler of the two, gave a tentative flap of her wings and launched herself up, swimming through the air towards her mother. Looking utterly disinterested in flying, Scabby fluttered down to the roof beside Twitch, Twitch and pecked his shoe. I'm not feeding you till you've had some exercise. Go on, go out and fly a bit, you're getting fat. Scabby stared at him and gave him another peck. Twitch laughed. <laughs> The sound startled Frazzle, who fell out of the nesting box, snapped out of his wings and careered up into the sky. All right, Scabby, the bird was tugging at his shoelace with his beak. You win, but don't tell the others. Twitch prized off the lid of the tub beside the pigeon loft and grabbed a fistful of seed. Scabby fluttered up, perching on his wrist and pushing his beak greedily into the gaps between Twitch's fingers. As Twitch fed Scabby, he watched the pigeons reeling around one another in the sky. He wouldn't be able to go to Aves Woods tomorrow unless the police caught Ryan tonight, but he could still take the squads out for their first homing flight. He thought they were ready. Amita's basket was the perfect way to carry them. He put them in the basket, secure the lids, and strap it onto his bike. He had to cycle a mile from the loft to release them. The thought of either bird not making a home made his stomach lurch. Instead, he thought about where the five million pounds might be hidden. Imagine if it was in Abe's woods. Frazzle landed clumsily in the giant terracotta saucer that served as a birdbath. The do the doolally sorry, the doolally bird had big unblinking eyes, a scraggly thin neck, and permanently ruffled feathers. Look, lads, Twitch said as Frazzled hurried over. If Robber Ryan comes here, you're going to have to help me defend the house. Scabby carried on eating, but Frazzle stared at Twitch. Frazzle, if Ryan breaks in, I'll do this. Twitch lifted his chin, pursued his lips, and made a warbling whistle. That'll be your signal to attack. Frazzle cocked his head, looking confused. Like this, Twitch made the whistling sound again, then squawked, flapped his arms, and pretended to peck an imaginary person. Robber, excuse me, Robber Ryan will run away because of your ferocious battle moves, and you'll be rewarded with... He sprinkled birdseed into his own mouth. Mmm, yummy. He looked at Frazzle. What do you think? Frazzle looked hypnotized. You have a go. <laughs> you have a go. Twitch tipped his head back and whistled. Frazzle stared at him and pooped a white puddle onto the roof. <laughs> Good job, Frazzle. You really tried. Some use you are, Twitch shook his head. Pigeons are supposed to be clever. He turned to Scabby, who was still guzzling grain. Scabby, when Frazzle attacks the robber, your job is to fly to the police with a message that I'll write on a scrap of paper and fasten to your leg in one of these. From his pocket, he pulled a tiny silver canister looped onto a Velcro strap. Dinner! His mum called up the stairs. Coming! Twitch shouted back, scattering the remaining grain over the roof and dusting off his hands. Lifting the feed bucket, he took out a scoop and piled grain onto the two bowls of the pigeon loft. With his watering can, he filled the water dishes and the bird bath. Then... Ducking in through the window, he washed his hands in the bathroom sink. As he lathered soap over his fingers and thumbs, he thought about Billy and Robert Ryan. Could they be the same person? Surely someone would have recognised him. Amita had left, and two plates of omelette, eggs and chips sat and cho omelets are there. Amita left, and two plates of omelette, chips and salad sat on the table. This looks great, Twitch declared, sliding into his chair and grabbing his knife and fork. Tomorrow is the first day of your holidays, his mum said, cutting into her omelette and letting the steam out. What are you going to do with it? I am going to get comfortable first and then I'll explain. 
After my paper round, I think I'm going to go into Ave's Woods, but I don't think I'll be able to go now. Twitch dipped the chip into the gloopy splodge of ketchup on his plate. I think you should stay clear of Ave's Woods, his mum caught his eye. You could invite a friend or two over if you want. I wouldn't mind. I'd even stay out the way. Twitch shrugged. The idea of anyone from school coming to his house filled him with horror. He'd built a shield against the jeers in the playground based on the fact that people, no one really knew him. He didn't want people coming over here. It would give him the ammunition. It would give them ammunition. His home life was private. He was happy on his own, building his hide, watching the birds, and training his pigeons. You knew where you were with birds. They were better friends than humans. But he didn't say this to his mom. He knew she worried about him not having friends to begin with. When they'd finished, Twitch cleaned the plates, whilst mom dished up the rice pudding and dolloped Anita's jam into it. They took their bowls outside and sat cross-legged on the grass beneath the lilac tree. It was a warm evening, and they ate their pudding. Watching the sun go down and discussing the placing of Amita's teapot. Give me your bowl, his mum said, getting to her feet. I'm going to turn in. I've got an early start tomorrow. I'll put the birds to bed and lock up, Twitch replied, standing up and kissing her on the cheek. Night, mum. Uh, after chasing the chickens into their coop and shutting up the pigeon loft, Twitch made his way through the house, closing every window and double-checking the doors were locked. That there, were only one, there was only one window he couldn't shut, and that was in his bedroom. Before going up to his bed, he was into the living room and took the iron poker from beside the fireplace. Just in case he needed a, I need a weapon, he thought. Chapter 7. Bird Box Bed the staccato bleeps of his alarm woke up Twitch at 4.30 in the morning. He sat up, turned it off, and the fairy lights on. Feeling around, he grabbed the clothes he'd set out at the end of his bed. Faded jeans, black vest, and an oversized camo shirt with poppers instead of buttons. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna gently, without disturbing Link here, change my microphone's position. <sighs> uh, and put them on. Crawling out of the circular door in his bo box bed, he took the balled up socks from inside his trainers, pulled them on and shoved his feet into the shoes without undoing the laces. He stretched and his knees cracked as he turned to look out the window. The sky was aubergine. Twitch's bed was like a cabin. When he was little, he'd fantasized about being a bird. He loved making himself wings from cardboard, from his mother's scarves, and once from a pair of kites. Instead of building dens or forts, he'd construct bird boxes with nests inside and played at being a bird. For his seventh birthday, his granddad had constructed him a giant wooden bird box to put over his bed and painted it sky blue. Over the years, Twitch had papered the inside with pictures torn from wildlife magazines, added a shelf for his books, a curtain to draw across the door, and fairy lights. It was his nest, and he felt safe inside. The only other furniture in his room was a chest of drawers. The ceiling, walls, and floorboards were painted white. At the far end was a sash window, wedged open at the top with a piece of wood. There were splatters of muck on the wall and floor around the window, because every summer, Twitch shared his bedroom with a family of swallows. At the end of March, Twitch would scan the skies every morning, hoping to see the long tailed birds that flew from South Africa over the Sahara Desert to nest in his bedroom. Their arrival heralded the start of summer. This year, Mr. Swallow had arrived on the 2nd of April. Ironically, yesterday. Uh, that's quite good timing. And Mrs. Swallow appeared a week later, so in six days. Wow, that turns out they've arrived then. After a, brief courtship, after a brief courtship, they'd set about building a nest using mud from a meter's pond next to an old nest from last year, attached to the architrave beside his window. Thank you, Parkour King, very much for your contribution towards the Made Outfit stream. Very kind of you. By the way, I forgot to say, I'm so sorry, but how are you doing, honey? I'm so glad you could make it today. I realise I didn't inter introduce you and say hello and everything, and I do apologise for that, but I'm so glad you could be here. It's always lovely to have you join the stream. Twitch loved to watch them from his box bed. He kept a diary of their activity as they reared their first brood and the chicks fledged. Now, there was a second clutch of eggs in the nest. He was always careful to be calm and quiet around the swallows, and he fancied that they knew and trusted him. Hmm. Creeping along the landing to the bathroom, Twitch opened the window. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to stretch. <laughs> Creeping along the landing to the bathroom, Twitch opened the window, climbed out, and silently removed the bird food from the pigeon. He was reading a book about training pigeons, and it was said not to feed them before their first flight home. Hungry birds would, strife, would fly straight to the loft for food. 
Oh, thank you so much for the hug. Oh, sorry, I've been added to a Discord group. Uh, that was rang me at eight th six thirty-seven, so I've got to keep that in mind because it looks like we're going to be playing some Mario Kart a little bit later. Because uh, well, Data invited me, and I did want to do a calm stream, but it would be nice to play with him as well. For those of you who don't know, uh, my friend at CMD Data is a wonderful streamer, works extremely hard at what he does, and you can go and follow him at this link here. Be sure to go give, give him a check out. He plays a lot of shooter games, and he's uh, one of my favorite. He's one of my best streamer friends, so he's awesome. Trust me. Still, uh, we'll be playing that a bit later. Just so I let you guys know. Uh, Twitch loved to watch them from oh, once the kitchen, once in the kitchen, he made he made himself a bowl of cereal, opened the back door, and sat on the doorstep to eat it. The air was moist, but he was tell he could tell it was going to be another sunny day. A blackbird called, and a moment later, the territorial recept uh reci sorry recitative recitative. Excuse me, I couldn't read that whatsoever. Uh, recitative of a robin answered. He closed his eyes as bird hidden in treetops and shrubberies began their pee wetting, the pee weeting and cooing, tea weeting and hooing. He recognized the distinctive trill of a wren, then a warbler. He had learned to listen to birdsong, memorizing their calls, and loved being able to identify which birds were around him, even when he couldn't see them. <gasps> hey, Outy! Welcome to the stream, Horn. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming by. Indeed, we've got Twink with us because I thought he'd be a nice little companion to chill out with us while I'm reading today. Uh, I'm reading a book called Twitch by M.G. Leonard, the story of a boy into bird watching, who a 12-year-old boy who's very much into bird watching, discovering that a prisoner recently escaped from prison and has made his way into his favorite bird watching woods, so uses his bird watching ability to try and track down the prisoner. But we're currently about 66 pages in and we're just reading out um, him waking up the day after they've announced that the prisoner has escaped. But how are you doing? It's so lovely to see you. I'm glad you could join me and Twink for some reading today. <laughs> Twink, Twink trademark. I'm so glad you did that. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you could join us. It made him feel part of the avian world. As their uh, as their arias became a chorus, tremolos and trills blending and crescendoing, crescendoing, the sun was summoned from its slumber to rise into the sky again. Twitch watched the sky change colour as he listened. As he listened. Miss your granddad, he whispered, before taking his bowl back inside. Oh, by the way, what should I call you? Like, what's your name? Well, to be perfectly honest, I have a general rule here. My pronouns are any all, and my name, to be honest, as long as it's not rude, is any all as well. You can call me, I usually go by games, jacks, people call me princess, because they, you know, I believe that I am the most adorable princess. No, but people, in all seriousness, people do call me princess, because, call me princess, because it makes, call him princess, because it makes him blush. <laughs> See, my point proven exactly. But yeah, I go by games, jacks, jacksy, princess, those are usually the name, main ones, but... Call me whatever you wait, whatever you may wish, because I'm happy with anything, as long as you're happy. Also, your pronouns. I hope you don't mind me asking this. No, no, no. I'm honestly, genuinely very flattered that you would be willing to take the time to figure out. So thank you very much for asking. It's very kind and polite of you, and I much appreciate you being here, Tara. Thank you. Yes, people call me princess because it makes me flustered. But not now, because I'm reading, so don't worry about it. So I can call you anything I want. So can I call you mine? You may certainly do so. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. If it's what you want to call me, I'm down for it. Princess. Ah, sparkles. Yes, I also go by Catboy too. I, I go by Sleepy Sleepy Princess Catboy is my full official title. It's usually my uh, my regal name, as it were. I'm Sleepy Princess Catboy the Third. We call him Lewis. <laughs> Alty calls me Lewis, yes. Like I said, I go by many names. You may call me whatever you may wish. Or as long as it makes you comfortable and happy, that's all I'm bothered about. Thank you very much for asking. He put the kettle on and made his mum a cup of tea. Tiptoeing upstairs, he left the tea on her bedside table and planted a kiss on her forehead. Creeping out of the house, he pulled on his helmet and unlocked the bike. <gasps> Kitty! Ah, I like Kitty too. Kitty sounds wonderful, thank you. I very much appreciate the kitty name. Mm. Sorry, I'm having... You don't... <laughs> Tara, honey, you don't need to apologise for having fun. You're fine. Don't worry about it. But thank you very much anyways for, uh, you know, being so polite nonetheless. My dyslexic ass could not read this fluently. <laughs> 
Georgia, welcome to today's stream. Absolutely lovely intro there, but I'm so glad you could join us today. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. Honestly, it's been a while. And you know what? I'm coming back to uh, Burnham tomorrow, so if you're interested in uh, meeting up at some point, or if you're uh, in town while I'm there, I'd love to come and say hello. Still, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could join us. <gasps> OMG, I think we have the same cat is. Yo, that's awesome. Dude. I got these off of Amazon a little a little while ago, and um, you know I like wearing them because my other cat ears are like um, they're like clip on individual clip on ones, but they're leopard print instead. But I usually like these because they're just easier to wear. Uh, I'm doing good. I've had a self care day. That's good. I'm really happy to hear. What did you do on your self care day? I'm in Brighton at the moment, but when we're both around, I'm sure we could meet up at some point. I would love that. That sounds wonderful. And yes, sometimes they do call me Louie. <laughs> I'm just currently reading a book called Twitch by M.G. Leonard, the story of a birdwatching boy about 12 years old who uses his skills to track down a prisoner that recently escaped from the woods. I went to the aquarium. Oh, that sounds so lovely. I hope you had a wonderful time. What fish did you see? I'd love to hear. Just while I'm reading up a little bit. I prefer kitty, princess, prince, gorgeous, hun, lovely, and love. Is that the name you prefer? Kitty, prince, princess, hun, gorgeous, love, and lovely, and love. That it's some wonderful names. Is that how we should, we should refer to you, Tara? <laughs> uh, the sky was awash with blue and violets as the sun chased the night away. Riding a bike at this time of day was the best because there was no traffic. Pedaling hard through the sleeping streets. Uh, uh, Twitch built up speed until he reached the downward slope of the main road. He rose up, standing on his pedals and throwing his arms wide. The wind blew his shirt open, so it flapped behind him like a cape as he freewheeled down the hill. He arrived at the newsagents, breathless and grinning, as Mr. Bettany was unbolting the shutters and opening the door. Morning, Twitch. He be he, Mr. Bettany smiled, crinkling his leathery skin. You're early. It's the first day of the summer holidays, Twitch laughed, propping his bike against the wall and following him into the shop, uh, where stacks of newspapers bound with string were piled on the floor in front of the counter. Let's see. Uh, turtles, sharks, just basically a hell of a lot of fish. Well, it sounds absolutely wonderful. I'm glad you took a self-care self -care day for yourself and enjoyed the aquarium. Sounds lovely. Mr. Bettany pointed to the piles. Need you to sort the men to rounds? Uh, I thought you liked calling Prince Turtle or Shark. <laughs> I thought you liked calling Prince Turtle or Shark. <laughs> yes, people also refer to me as Turtle or Shark. It's a wonderful name. But uh, no, it's uh, they went to go to an aquarium and see the turtles and sharks and stuff. Mr. Bettany pointed to the piles. Need you to sort them into the rounds. No problem. Twitch sank to his knees and, taking his penknife from his pocket, cut the string tying the first bundle. Mr. Bettany handed him pen and paper, and he began making up the first round. Mr. Fullmester at number 23 had the Times, Mr. Glenn Garrick at tw number 24 had the Guardian, and so on. Twitch didn't have time to read any of the articles, but it was impossible not to notice that Robert Ryan was on the cover of every newspaper. Ryan on the run! Robert Ryan wreaks havoc! Rosa's rocked by Ryan! The papers were all carrying a shadowy picture taken from a petrol station CCTV camera, which showed the back of a figure in a long black coat with a shaved head. The image was grainy, but it was clearly not Billy, and Twitch felt relieved. The caption said Ryan had been spotted at a 24-hour garage in Bridvale late on Thursday night. Twitch thought, about, thought back to what the police officer had said about a sighting, and wondered why they thought he'd be heading for Aves Woods. Whilst making his up the newspaper rounds, Twitch glimpsed sentences piecing together the story. A year ago, Ryan had been one of five mass raiders who'd held up a security van at gunpoint. They had stolen five million pounds, the biggest cash theft since the Great Train Robbery. Three of the robbers had been caught and convicted. The fourth had been killed by Ryan, who made off with all of the money. Ryan was arrested, pleaded innocent, but was found guilty. The police now found no trace of the five million. It had never been recovered. Meanwhile, Mrs. Ingle look was exaggerating. Twitch thought as he looked. Uh, Mrs. Ingle look was exaggerating. Twitch thought as he took the remaining newspapers to the empty racks and filled the displays. Ryan didn't kill the whole gang. Just more, just one member. <sighs> My cat is being a naughty little girl. Oh no! What's the cat doing? What is cat doing? Go, give them less pets than usual. That that will teach them to not be a bad girl. And hey, it's okay. You're here with a good girl, so it's all fine. 
that if your cat is being a bad girl, then you can chill out with good girl and read some read some books. Uh, do you recognize the garage? Do you recognize the garage? Mr. Bethany asked, seeing Twitch looking at the papers. What? The garage in the picture is the one on Bridvale Road by Aves Woods. Twitch looked at the picture and felt a job as he realized Mr. Bethany was right. Mr. Bethany looked at his watch. Sarah's late again. Do you want me to take the north rounds today? Sorry, Sarah's late again. Do you want me to take the north rounds today? They were the furthest from the shop, but if he was quick, which he always was, he could get them done in under two hours and race back home to prepare for his squab's first homing flight. You're a good lad, Twitch, Mr. Bethany nodded, but don't stop talking, but don't stop to talk to strangers, mind. Not with that robber about. <laughs> she keeps trying to bite me and I'm trying to stroke her. Well, you know what? I'm sorry that that kitty is misbehaving, but why doesn't this kitty give you a hug to make you feel better? Come on. Oh. Oops, don't fall. Come on, this kitty is going to give you a hug. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah, you can give me pets and strokes. I'm okay with it and I won't bite, I promise. Hmm. Well, good girl or boy, I'm happy with anything. You can call me a good girl, good boy. Like I said, my pronouns are any all, so you can literally call me by any pronoun that you want. Whatever you think about, it's all good. Uh, let's see. Hugs back. Ah, thank you for the huggy back. It's very nice of you, Fred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I won't, Twitch picked up the North Rounds, sliding them into two canvas delivery bags which he wore crisscrossed over his chest, and set off on his bike, wobbling, weighed down by the papers. He pedalled to the crossroads of the heart of Bridvale, and dismounted, wheeling his bike over to the ditch that ran, al the ditch that ran along the road, he squeezed through a gap in the hedgerow, laid his bike on the ground, and removed one of the newspaper bags. It was quicker and easier to do one bag at a time, so on dry days he hid one under the hedge while, do while he did the other. He was pushing it into the well-worn nook when he heard familiar voices and squatted down out of sight. Hi, it was Jack Kappelman. Why did we have to meet this early? came the whining tones of Pamela Hardacre. Could we have- oh. Why did we have to meet this early? came the whining tones of Pamela Hardacre. Couldn't we have done this later? I have a skincare regime I need to follow or I'll get spots. It's hard work looking this perfect, you know. I told you, we need to get a, we need to get a head we need to get up early to get a head start, Jack said. We're not going to be the only people hunting for that money. What are we looking for? Terry Vallis asked. Five million sorry, five million pounds. Jack replied. Dad says the police thinks it's in Aves Woods. That's why they were searching it yesterday. Yeah, but how big is five million? Terry asked as they approached the spot where Twitch was hiding. Is it like a suitcase big or is it like the size of a tea chest or a car? Briefcase? It's not going to be sitting in a pile amongst the trees, is it? It'll be buried or sunk in the pond. I mean, it could be anywhere. Uh, let's see. Um, I have five cats, but now I have six. Oh, precious. That's so cute. Connie, the naughty girl, Loki, Bluebell, Pickle, Gizmo, and Prince. Oh, that sounds adorable. I love all of those Kato names. They're so precious. I love the names, especially Loki. I love Loki. Loki is very cool. Prince is cool. Prince is a very nice name. Very, like, regal and elegant. Connie being the naughty girl, though. How rude. <gasps> food is done. Ah, can I have some too as well? That would be nice. Me, me and Tara would like food, please. Mm, thank you. Ah. I really like food now. I'm actually kind of hungry. I won't lie. It's coming up two hours, actually. Heck. Uh, we'll probably finish up this chapter, and then we'll be playing some Mario Kart with uh, Data and some friends of his for a little bit. Because uh, it looks like they started the call, and to be perfectly honest, I would like to play some Mario Kart. But uh, I really appreciate all of you coming by and uh, listening to me read for a little bit. It's nice to get through some pages. I've been meaning to for the longest time anyways, and it's just a nice reason to do so on stream. Loki is a cuddly kitty. Good! That sounds lovely. Uh, I don't know where it is, Jack sounded frustrated. We'll keep our eyes open for signs and, or, of digging or disturbed earth. Anything that looks suspicious. But if the robbery was a year ago and the money's been hidden in Abe's woods all this time, wouldn't someone have found it by now? <laughs> I definitely didn't have sushi. Mm, I'm sure. Uh, Terry pointed out. What if we find a shallow grave in the woods? Asked a soft voice. Twitch peered out through the hedgerow, making out the long dark hair and brown eyes of Tara Dabari. Despite being friends with Pamela, Tara never joined her when she called them when she called him names. She shifted to see her more clearly and trod on a stick that snapped loudly. 
I'll post pics of my cat on your Discord in the cuddly and fluffy thing section, I think. Yeah, go ahead and do so. That sounds like a great idea. Thank you so much for posting in cuddle and fluffy. Uh, Tara turned her head, looking right at the spot in the hedgerow where he was hiding. What was that? Twitch froze and held his breath. Oh, God. Trust Tara to turn... Trust Tara to turn this expedition into a horror movie. Sorry. Trust Tara to turn this expedition into a horror movie. Pamela scoffed, giggling and giving her friend a shove. She looked squarely at Jack. I'm not digging up any skeletons. We're not looking for dead people, Jack reassured her. Come on, let's go. Wait, what about Vernon and Oz? Terry asked. Aren't they meeting us here? Vernon's the best at digging. Vernon's working. Oz is finishing with his dad. Oh, fishing with his dad. I wish I was fishing, Terry muttered as the four of them drifted away, heading south towards a book. OMG, my name is in the book. Ooh, which name did I call out that's yours? Twitch let out the... If I'm allowed to know it, of course, unless you don't want to say exactly, but it's called cool that your name is in the book. Uh... Twitch let out a breath that he'd been holding, that he'd been holding, remaining where he was until he'd been sure they'd gone. So Peaky and Madden's threats had frightened Jack into getting him into a search party together. Lifting his bike back through the hedgerow, Twitch set off on his first paper round, his bag getting lighter as he went. As he pedalled, he thought about places where Ryan might have hidden the money. Twitch knew A's woods like the back of his hand. He went there most days after school. He thought back over the past year, but he couldn't recall a time where he'd noticed disturbed earth or anything that might be lewdly buried. Uh, there were lots of police vic- Oh, well, my name is Tara. That does make sense. I do apologise. I don't know why that didn't click with me, but I'm very glad that you did point that out to me. Thank you. Still, that's a very lovely name, Tari. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought Tara was like an online name or something. I'm usually used to assuming. So I'm very glad that you pointed it out for me. But still, Tara is a very lovely name. Uh, there were lots of police vehicles on the road this morning, although none of them had their sirens on. To which guess they were widening their search for Rob Ryan, and if Jack planned on going to Eve's woods, it had to be open to the public again. When Twitch eventually arrived back at the newsagents, he saw the other rounds had gone. Mr. Bettany was serving a customer, customer, so Twitch hovered until he was done. I finished! He pushed the canvas bag across the counter. Fastest newspaper boy I've ever read! Mr. Bettany handed over a small brown envelope. Here's your earnings. See you next Saturday! The bell rang as Twitch left, but its reverberations hadn't fallen silent before he was back on his bike and heading home to his pigeons. And that is where we shall end off here today as Chapter 8 moves on to Maiden Flight. I hope you enjoyed my reading of today's story. Uh, of today's story. I'm going to grab my bookmark because I have a bookmark with me. I'm amazed that I got as far as I did considering the fact that I started from the very beginning of the book today. But thank you all so much for joining me for today's reading of Twitch. Uh, ironically named, of course, for today's stream, uh, by M.G. Leonard. Please give it a read if you get the chance or consider buying on Amazon. I might continue reading this in the future, but we'll see. I would recommend getting the book nonetheless and giving it a look. It certainly seems very interesting, and I really do like the concept of the story. Um, this has been uh, the reading section. We're going to be moving on to a bit more of a hectic game of Mario Kart, so uh, we're moving on to that in a second. However, if you are interested, uh, if you are interested in sticking with that, then please be sure to stay around. If not, you are free to leave as you do so. I know this was kind of a this is a very calm stream, so if you just wanted nothing but calm, please go ahead and leave or stay as you please. But thank you all so much for joining me today on this uh, on this stream of some story time with games. We're moving on, like I said, we'll be moving on to Mario Kart now. So I'm going to go on a small break while I get set up. Um, uh, and when I come back, we'll be in a lot more of an energetic state. So give me just a few moments, and uh, when we return, we'll be back for some more. So. Uh, yeah, I'm a go. Take it easy. That's all right, Captain. Thank you so much for joining us on today's stream. It was a pleasure to have you today. Um, thank you so much. I'll stay. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Tara. That's very sweet of you. I'll put my book down for now. We'll probably do an hour or so of Mario Kart, and then I'll end stream because I'm a little bit tired, but I did want to play with Data for a little bit. So I'll be back in... Is it bad that I just realized that I can't play Mario Kart with them because I packed my Switch away? Yeah, i got to go on break to plug my Switch back into my computer. Okay, I'll return in a second, and when we do return, we'll play some Mario Kart. So, see you all in a second. Thank you for joining me, and I love you all very much. Be right back.
Hi, my stream. I'm back. Hello, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Why am I not mod yet? <laughs> I'm learning. Oh, hold on a second. It cost me an extra bits to vote. Hey, yo. But just gotta... Wait a minute. Hey, yo. You can. You don't have to. Oh, my God. Games. You're, wel you're welcome. Enjoy. Ten months. Saucy. Yeah. Shit. Thank you. <laughs> But uh, hello everyone, welcome back. We're playing with Data now and we're playing Mario Kart because I'm going to kick his ass. But I hope you're doing good. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm, well, I mean, it's obvious. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> the votes are currently stacked against you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Very stacked. <laughs> Very stacked, I might add. This a fucking scam. <laughs> Road. <laughs> I don't, I don't um, see this happening. I don't see this going down. I it's think for one race only. Or, 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 or. It's for the first race. Or I think for the first Grand Prix. Yeah, for the first Grand Prix. Okay, so am I joining your lobby, Data? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, no need to be sorry, Tara. It's okay. You can be camps. We're, we're all crazy fucking wild now. I know I was just... I, I know I was just like reading a really calm story being super relaxing a moment ago, mm. but now we're going to go ape shit. This is like going from, you know, David Attenborough's nature documentary to fucking jackass. Except David Attenborough's the one in jackass. Ex yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I'd die. Oh, can you tell your friend? That is that... a beast. Ooh, are you playing oh. with viewers? Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or I am at least. Uh, can you tell your friend I say hi? Oh, Tara says hi. Who is a new viewer to the stream? Hi. She's very cool. Uh, awesome. She seems super lovely. Um. Oh, oh shit. Right. I don't actually know my. Oh shit. Oh. Oopsie. Hold on. I uh. <laughs> oh. I'll I'll happily join you after I'm done eating if you'll have me. Oh my god. Of course, people. I'd love to have you on. <laughs> have you? Oh, wow, well, um, I mean, <laughs> but actually, it would be easier if you um data if data you... before you pull that up. What? <laughs> before don't, what? Don't show your friend code, right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna that? say. It would be better if right. if if you want yeah. to join to send me your Twitch. Show, friend, show uh, the friend code. Come on, do yeah. it. You know you want to. <laughs> no. Show the friend code. Come on, no. reveal, reveal it, data. Show it off. You got this. No. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> this is a cyber bully. <laughs> Uh, All right, should we, uh, should we wait new... or I got should we uh, start a practice? Oh, uh, I'm good practice. for a practice. All right, let's go. Oh man, I should have done today's stream in 1080p. Fuck. Damn it. Um, let's see. Oh, hold on shells a second. Shells only? Should we go shells only? Don't do this. Don't make yes. it worse than it needs to be. No, it's it's, it's going to be good. Uh, CPU? Oh wait, have you actually set it to shells only? Please don't set yes. it to shells only. No, yeah, I am shells no, only. No, because shells only. <laughs> no, because shells only is boring. I'll tell you the ones that are fun: mushrooms only, bombs only, and bananas only. Shells only. Is shells boring, only is fun. It's fucking you boring. You've it. never played it. I have not exactly. And it's that's why boring. I'm Jackson, you're not in control here. Um, <laughs> really? Well, that makes a change from usual, doesn't it? <laughs> Do we go no CPU or CPU? CPU. CPU, CPU, CPU. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, then, that was definitive. Let's see. Uh, you are cool, Tara. I agree. You're very cool. I think so. <laughs> Even people's like, show friend code. Do it. I want to see. <laughs> so, also, sorry for taking so long coming off break. I packed my Switch ready for tomorrow and remembered that I need my Switch to fucking stream and the deck. So, you know, that's fun. Ah, uh, yeah. So, okay. what is tomorrow? I'm going home for the week. Ah, I won't be streaming cool. this week, so. <laughs> um. Okay. What do I want to play? Let's see. I just picked random. Boring. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hate to say it, but come on. You're come on, Dahlia. Dahlia, you gotta get your, you gotta get yourself together. Maybe. Choose something real, real fucking interesting. See, I'm like me. Oh, no. Choose the right <laughs> course. Choose the correct course. Get us off to a good start. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It's Germany versus England. <laughs> I guess. We don't. I, I, I like how you've completely forgotten the other two players who are with us. Hey. It's fine. Oh, yeah, no. You... I'm sorry. Are you ignoring Arthur because he's Asian? What the fuck, dude? That's so <laughs> kind of racist. What, what the fuck? No, I was just reading. God, how could list. you? Good God, just you. think about think about Arthur for a little bit. Christ. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, racism, exactly. What the fuck this, is this? No, no, I, it's a, <laughs> what the hell? Who, who has shit already? Ah, uh, <laughs> hello, that'd be me. Yes. I hate whoever threw in that shell back. Oh, that was... Oh, oh God. Red shell. Oh, hi, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> Bye, Arthur. <laughs> I'm not... I have two shells around me. You can't uh, I want to throw a red shell at you, but you're fucking protected. Oh, you yeah, come back here. 
Let me get you. Let me get. Let me hit you. Let me hit you. I want to hit no, you. No, get him. Running away. Running away. Haha! <laughs> 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 fuck you. The I music is uh, very calming for such a. Where's my rest show? Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Says the self-entitled person. Oh god. Son of a bitch! Oh no, coin! Oh, enjoy blue. Bye bye. Like three shells in a row. This is what all shells does. It's fucking garbage. No! Ba -ba 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 <laughs> Fuck! Oh, no! Wait, 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 wait. Who's the slut that threw a shell at me? <laughs> everyone, apparently. Valium, yes, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Pleasure to have you with us today. I'm just calling everyone a slut because it's fine. Enjoy. Ah, damn it. Are you well with you? I item box in time. I saved my ultra boost and just to get disrupted by you. Oh, God. Enjoy. Okay. Bye, Dahlia. Sorry. Sorry, Dahlia. Sorry, Dahlia. Try to get data. He's an ass. No. Three shells in there, right? Wait. Go, go away, please. Get back here, Data. No! Why did it switch in the last minute? <laughs> bye bye. God damn it. Later, loser. Go, 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 go. Where the hell came from? Stop humming so happily. I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> this is a fun oh, game. I love this. It's so good. Who the oh, hell's throwing three on. shells at me? Yes. Fucking hell! You. Come back here, Data. Come back here, Data. No. No, I don't want to. Ay. Get back here. No. I want to. Ah! Oh, I couldn't catch up, you bastard! Fuck yeah. Son of a bitch! Ah, uh, let's see. It's called It balls. seems the polls were right. <clears throat> Would you- It's one Sorry fucking race. Me. Would you calm down, you <laughs> incel? Right, let's see. Um, I showed my- Hey, what's the code? Um, I was just saying, after we started the race, um, if you want to uh, join, it might be better for you to whisper on Twitch your code to me, and then I can add you. Uh, let's see. I show my- well, at that point, then they can see your friend code and post in the chat. Okay. No, whisper. Whisper. No, I mean, when they add him as a friend, they can then it's see- It's whatever. Him. I mean, it, it's just easier. Get coconut mold. I came <laughs> second, Dink! Okay, well done. <laughs> I tried my hardest. Right, I should. Well <clears throat> that is four more plays than last time. The, uh, it is. I showed my friend a new character, and they were like, "Yeah, you give off mouse or rat vibes." So I told them they give off dragon vibes, and they replied, uh, "With that's how, that's how it must be dragon my nuts." No. I should have. I'm a fucking god. God's sake! I should have read. I chose the wrong one as well. I meant to choose a rainbow road. Oh no, not the volcano one. Choose it, choose it. Please. Yeah! Oh, okay, good. I yeah. get my course again. Again? Uh, welcome, Valium. What I wonder if today? anyone use, is using tilt controls right now. Oh my Probably god, not. Vin's here and Did said- Did you get the expansion pass? Oh, Vin's in my stream and like, nah, I have to stand my princess. I have to spend my points on you. <laughs> oh! You're on the DLT, right? Thank you, Vin. I love you. You're the ultimate. Yeah, this has to be, because I don't yeah. have it. What is the what flag is uh, that bothered us with? pretty. Uh, okay. Not sure what you're talking about, but welcome to stream anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to fucking kick. This is, I got to do well on this one. I love this course and I want to do well. Get over here, Data. No, please. Oh, wait, please. I'm going to fuck you harder than the financial crisis. D oh. <laughs> I, I, I didn't ah, realize that there was a competition. You go, girl. Thank you, Tara. Go away, Dahlia! Oh god, there's shells on the course. Why? Because they- Oh no! No! Forward! <laughs> no! Back! Are you- Oh, fuck! Ah, are you guys? No! Uh, Thank you, Tara. A little bit. I want to catch up with Dana! Goodbye. Oh, I no, up. no, Finn! I don't be disappointed. Up. I got this! I don't know. I just saw the- are you playing with viewers? Um, I, I, it looks like we are. Data, you down for that? With yeah, you? I am. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I fell. <laughs> oh, my ass. The more the merrier, right? Bum, ba, da, 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 da. You know what? The more the more there is, the fucking men... Yeah, more the mental. Yeah, the more mental it is. Yeah. Not merrier, mental. Ah! Ah, crap. Who fucking red-shelled me? <laughs> Absolute <laughs> cock buckets. Oh, I sorry, just green-shelled myself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Shit. 
Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't put the safe space tag on my stream because I, I would have oh, had to remove that very fucking quick. Nope. Sorry, Vin. <laughs> Shells only? Oh. Yeah, because Data thought it would be fun to do. No crap. <laughs> yeah, how you feeling about that choice, buddy? Very, very positive right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Because I'm winning. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. How did it hit the bridge? No, I keep hitting the. I'm so far behind! <laughs> oh, I'm about to lap someone. Oh my fucking god. Oh, let me just oh, do 100cc because I feel like it. What oh, I didn't even mean to put it on 100cc. What upsets me the most is the fact that you just came from Mario Kart DS being like, oh, I'm gonna just walk it once into Mario Kart 8 <laughs> doing fine. And you fucking did! I'm sorry, I can't help it! <laughs> Oh my- No way, someone threw a red shot while I'm- I'm very unhappy. You and Data are enemies now. I did- <laughs> I, He was yeah, my straight are. crush, but it's too late now. <laughs> when it comes to Mario Kart, yes. Nope. You know what? Fuck you then. Enjoy. Thank you. I will. <laughs> Wait, did you already win? Yes. What?! How are you that <laughs> far ahead?! <laughs> what the fuck?! That's second place. So oh my god, you uh, fucking- I really want to play now. Vin, I wish you could join us. See, there's no one to fucking red shot in front of me because you've already won. <laughs> oh my this is fucking sluttery. This is I'm absolute- sorry. This is absolute sluttery at its finest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I'm... Arthur, fifth place, man. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, Arthur, yes. good job on fifth place. Yes. That's such a good word. <laughs> Swiss. Listen, I'm trying to be positive here, Jackson, but you're not making it easy. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I didn't. <clears throat> no! I, I disconnected from the game! I didn't mean to! You fucking... I accidentally disconnected. I disconnected! Right, I, I pressed back sure. by mistake. No, I actually pressed. I was trying to press yes or. I Where hate when it's like. Good job. I hate when it's like, do you want to quit? And I'm like, yes or. No. I don't know which to answer. I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, Eloy, thank you so much for 250 positrons. Right. Okay. This is it. I'm choosing my. I'm choosing the worst. Oh course. shit. Uh. 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 Okay. Random. Whatever. Okay. Uh. Do you need DLC to play with the maps? No, you don't. As long as Data has the maps, then because he's host, then which it's I fine. Do. Yeah. Yes. Imagine Data. Cringe. <laughs> Wow, all right, fuck you. Tara, I am liking you. You're a good new viewer. I'm not liking them anymore. <laughs> You've won both courses. You can't be sad at anything. <laughs> I get competitive. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look, I've had to read in a calm, uh, Jackson, relaxing... Yes? Jackson, I want to, I want to relay a message. Uh, you uh, uh, you need to man up and learn to take a punishment <laughs> if, he's, if you're going to be the submissive thing you are. <laughs> oh... I'm not going to talk anymore. That's it. I'm, that's my punishment. I'm just not going to speak. Uh -oh. oh no, Peepo's good. Uh oh. You're not going to get- uh -oh. You're not going to get- Yeah, Peepo's good. Have a good Shit. time. Fucking enjoy. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Yeah, take it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no! Oh god damn it. <laughs> Fucking damn it. No, this is bad luck. Fuck, I didn't get- <laughs> Ah, <welcome>. shit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Dara is doing amazing, I agree. Yeah, Peepo's actually good at this game, so that's why I was so glad that he was like, Yo, I want to join? Yes, you do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because Peepo is Peepo. <laughs> Peepo's OP. <clears throat> Think about shells only. Even if you've got red shells, you've got to constantly have shells on you to defend yeah. your shells. That's the reason I said it's boring as fuck. Right, I'm not raging. I'm not raging. <laughs> <laughs> May the power of squid bless you. Thank you, Vin. I love you. Oh, no. You can't do that to me. Ooh. You know I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take... I'm just going to pretend second is first because I'm never going to beat people, so I might as well just, you know... <laughs> oh, come on. I hate Paris roads. Why are they so confusing? God, it makes sense that they fucking gave up. Oh, yeah. 
Right. <laughs> you can't do that to me. Umji Data doesn't like me, starts crying. We're not friends anymore, Data. What? Who? Who Tara. That? Tara. You know, because you've known oh. Tara for such a long time. Yes. What the fuck? Someone's. Wait, no! What? <laughs> why is everyone going backwards? What? Yes, ah! Yeah, that's why I go. Yes. Damn it. What the fuck no, is happening? Hit me in mid there with it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going the wrong way. That really, yeah, didn't even, that didn't really, even boost. that really fucking confused me. What the hell? You see why I don't like the tour maps? Yeah, can you see why I don't like shells only? It's but look, neither of us get a win. Should have been so salty. Come I'm on, I'm gonna man. be salty. As I'm sorry. I'm joking. I love you, really. This guy only playing frantic items and then complains <laughs> about shells only. Wait. Yeah, because frantic is fun. Shells is shells. That's fucking. Shells is fun as well. It's three items. Shells, shells, and shells. <laughs> That's yes, it! Yes, exactly! That's why it's fun! It's just co a constant barrage of shells! <sighs> the route changes during the last lap, and I love this course. It confu- What the- Oh my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> I just got gifted a copy of Garfield Kart Furious Racing by my friend. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> why? That's so random! What the fuck? Oh, I have that game as well. It says, Jackson, lasagna, please play lasagna game with Garfield's best wishes. John! <laughs> They're not called John, Wait, by the way. Sex? Hello? I'm definitely not holding my middle finger up at all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I saved the oh. three green shows at the end. Princess, <laughs> what is Data's Twitch? I need to go tell him off. Go check him out at CMD Data. Hey. Twitch.tv slash CMD. Twitch.tv slash CMD. Oh, uh, the routine. Do you reckon Waluigi uses his nose in sex? Please stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, right. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Game... Yeah, they're doing drift like I do during winter. Yes. Games, pick a color for me. What for? Oh, I ch I picked red. Good. Red is a good color. I'm sorry I didn't pick in time, but pick red yes. is a good color. Let's go. I would have chosen red. Rainbow Road. <laughs> oh no, everyone's bonking you, Lloyd. <laughs> it's N64. We're fine. The other one's terrible. Yes. This one's actually quite fun. Oh and no, Dara's in my chat now. Thanks. No, what did I do? <laughs> That's Tara, by the way. They wanted to come and tell you off. Why? What did I do? Exist. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Could a certain doggo join? Certainly. After our races? Hell, you can. Two. One. Garfield! <laughs> Garfield. Yeah, I got Garfield Stop racing. Bonking. I can't hear my own thoughts. Bonking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bonking. Oh, God. Keep bonking. Distract him. I need to fuck shit up. No! Come on, get over here. Get over here, Link. In front of me. Get over here, Link. <laughs> I don't wanna... Get over here, Data. Get over here, Data. I got green shells. You want them? No. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I am. I'm having such a good time. Forgive me. Dink is, uh, Dink is low. Guys, Dink is stop it, otherwise, I'm gonna t disable the command. <laughs> Alright, sorry princess, my points are on dink now. What? Oh, but you shit. were you competition's brewing. No, you just betrayed no. me! You can't oh, do I that! God. Finn! What why could you no, do this to me? Oh god. Oh shit, that's a that's a ledge, that's a ledge. Oh boy. Ah, yes, slut! Fuck you, Peepo. Oh, 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 bye, Peepo! <laughs> no, get back here! This is not the final lap. <laughs> it is. It's one big race, I think. Ah! Uh -huh. Fuck off! Get it, get it, get it, no, get it! No, 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 no! Oh! Ooh, that was not right there. Give me something good, give me something good, give me something good. That was a green shell, that's not good, you ass. Damn it! I'll take- No! No! I missed the ramp! No! No! Don't you dare. <laughs> no! Damn it, that was so close. <laughs> Were you gonna get me? Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Yes. Oh, you slut! I got hit on the ramp so it didn't like let me parasail. I just had to like continue on like normal. <laughs> Oh, right. fuck. I'm Princess's favorite, Lamar. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I mean, 
to be honest. Sorry. I, I, would, I would like to... Uh... Never mind. No, Tara, Tara, I do apologize, but I'm afraid Data is my favorite on account of being so fucking hot. Thank you. <laughs> That's my reason. Yes. I got seven. I'm so, so, so sorry to hear that. What? Sorry to hear that, apparently, Tara said. I'm no one's so. favorite. Oh, come on. No, you're, you are. Trust me. You're someone's, someone's favorite, I'm sure. Oh, exactly. Dink's going to join I'm us. 100% Data's favorite. favorite. No scam. Yeah. I, uh, who's your favorite, Data? You. Alright. Uh, AR1. Oh, gotta go take the dog out. That's okay! Ah. Let's see what the poll said. Oh. I'm gonna do my smug face. Really? I can see your smug. You fucking. You're not allowed an emote out of that, <laughs> by the way. That's the rule. You can make a smug face, but you can't make an emote out of it. <laughs> well, that's not for me to decide. <laughs> Uh, Alright, if anyone wants to join us, um, please go ahead. Be free to uh, to whisper your Twitch code in chat. Uh, in your on, Twitch in code. You know exactly your, what you're doing, don't you? Switch code. Switch code. Whatever. You can tell this man's in had a switch for three days. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, simping. Let's see. Uh, oh, Dink's on. Uh, you get all. You get my points. You get my points, and you also get my points. Simping is a way of life. Agreed. Also, it games. Is, can yes. we maybe move cam so we can see items? I'm so sorry. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Sorry, I didn't. I forgot that that was covering <laughs> up items. Oops. Oi. Hey, Dolly. Thanks so much for the two thousand. Oi. Oh shit! I don't have any. Oh, I do have points. I just don't have them. Um, hold on. <laughs> let, let me help. Let me help. Ah, oh, thank you. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. Don't mind me. I know exactly what I'm doing. And by that, I mean I have no clue. Hmm. I wish I had this game on my Switch to play with you. I mean, the night is young. I'm impressed that you, you wanna... have a Switch and don't have Mario Kart. I feel like it's just yeah, how dare default. You? <laughs> Literally the first game I bought. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, you bought it, got scammed, and then bought it again. But yeah, uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. That was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was very much not fun. Oh, you know what? Don't mind uh, me. I'm just going to get it from the shady website. I'm sure I'll get it for much cheaper, guys. Listen, what could I possibly was poor, go wrong? Right? <laughs> you was? I'm sorry. This was like less than two weeks ago. Um, time changes, all right? <laughs> really? Does it now? <laughs> Mr. I just, I Mr. I I just bought a VR it. headset. I had to scrape together money and count all my cents to make sure that I had them. And yet two, yeah. and yet two days ago, you proceeded to buy a VR headset. <laughs> yes, well, things change. <laughs> Is that with a crown, Nato? Oh. What? Uh, he's saying if you got a crown, but you do have a I crown. I did, yes, because I won. Lucky sod. <laughs> <laughs> Data and Jack. Not officially, Freya, no. Not officially. The... Uh, Alright, games, pick a colour for me. Ah, uh, yellow. Someone please tell my WhatsApp two-year-old group to shut up. Uh, you know you can mute a WhatsApp group? <laughs> the power of notifications. Yes. Also, simping isn't just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. You're damn fucking right about that. <laughs> For some people it is, sadly, yes. Mm. Uh, I think you'll find that would be me. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended by the fact that you would even say that, because it's true. I really do respect you, I'm just trying to make myself happy. That's then... a very, very interesting way of making yourself happy. No, don't, okay. ju don't judge Tara. Tara is fine. Me no, making I'm not fun judging. Of you. I'm not you, judging. You can judge me for making mean? fun of you, because uh, how dare I? See, they even hey, followed. They, the follow. they followed in a sign of good faith. Yes. Simp, simp is my middle name, race, and job. See, I couldn't have been racist because I didn't know he was Asian. He's simp. Simple. <laughs> Stop digging your hole deeper. <laughs> sorry. I have to, I'm sorry. <laughs> also, how much do you get paid for simp, may I ask? I mean, I, I personally get paid somewhere in the range of just enough to stay alive by Twitch, but I don't know how much you get paid for it. Less. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm asexual, but you know I'm simping for Spongebob. Yeah. yeah aren't sponges huh. asexual as well? Don't they reproduce sponges asexual? Sponges are asexual, yeah. Yeah, perfect. That works then. Um, you don't. You lose money. Uh, excuse I, me. I'm pretty mind. sure that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. British racist could have never seen this coming, slash Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, does, I'm sorry, don't the Brits not exist by your standards? I'm not hearing any of it because, I, shut up, alright? I know what my country's like, stop. Oh my god, alright. 
<laughs> I'm dipping well, into. Let's go then. I'm dipping into so, dark realms for money. It's called a job. It's scary. See, my dark realms is I'm gonna be buying a bikini soon. So that'll be fun. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, Jackson's gonna turn into a bathtub streamer. I'm sorry. Oh, are you God, saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you saying? Oh no, when you're gonna get free uh, a free data, subscription data. to my own Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay I, I, I take everything back. I take everything back. <laughs> 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 oh, I love this. I took oh. some quizzes and realized that time I actually am. Yeah, Reiser, let's. Reiser? 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 Yes. Let's go. Um, <laughs> how my parents would react. British people are a bit racist, though, I'm honest. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we're, we're gonna step it up to 150. Oh. Um, like 150 items. what? All items, please. CC. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> all, frantic all items, frantic items, please. Frantic items, alright. Frantic okay. items. Good. All vehicles. Let's go. At some point, can we do 200cc mushrooms only, which I like to call fucking speed round? <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking, <laughs> fucking in the name specifically, because, oh my god. Yeah. Can you right. imagine? Just imagine, oh, nothing but full speed mushrooms going Pan 200cc. Gang. Let's go. Pan Ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. <gasps> Ooh. Electrodo. It's frantic item, right? Yes. Yeah. My God, fucking uh, Dink and Peepa are either in a call or scarily in sync. Pan uh, butt, thank you, butt spot. <laughs> I mean, you do have a pan butt. This is true. I do, yes. It's it's accurate. Okay, maybe. No, we're not excited, bike. You really hate that, don't you? I really don't like that track. I'm sorry. Also, Arthur, are you using the fucking default me a? How basic are you? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's a quick reminder, I don't play this game at all. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter, you should make a me. It's like Go the most on. basic thing. Yeah. No, I have it on my Wii. Until <laughs> make a me! <laughs> wow. <laughs> it takes five minutes, it's so simple. Wait, can't you transfer yeah. your Wii Mii's onto your Switch? I'm pretty yeah. sure you can, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the login. It's oh, no, you like, can't. Wow. You wow. Can... Imagine mushrooms only on Baby Park. I'm missed sorry. The, I missed the boost. Vin, imagine 200cc mushrooms only in Mute City. Just saying. Yeah, that's what. I, that's the first track that I played with Jackson was Hell. <laughs> I love watching him play. Uh oh. Ah, my asshole! Uh oh. Okay. Wait. I got hit with a red shell, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Dahlia! Dahlia! <laughs> Oh, Dahlia! I'm coming for Dink. La da dee, la da doo, la da dum, 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 dum. Woohoo! Come back here. Oh god, oh god, fire! That's so broken. You're welcome. Bye bye. Dahlia, how did you get in front of me again? I believe that's what they call the utmost of bullshit. <laughs> ah! Did I just heard a crack reminder? What? Yeah, it's time to take your crack. Don't you remember, Data? Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Invincible in second. That's bullshit right there. Oh, who else is? Who else is? Oh, Christ. Let's go. Wait, who's in first? Oh, of course it's people. It's always people. I love that I... For a second, I thought his yellow Yoshi was Koopa Trooper. Is that bad? No. I mean, it's slightly racist, but... Could you fucking stop, please? <laughs> I s oh, you know what? Fourth bullet bill. I'll take it. Bye, Data! No! Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god, I broke it. Bullet bill in bullet third bullet. place? Are you kidding? Oh, wait, got... here we go. Blue shell. Let's go. I fucked me up, but I got more. Well, someone just threw a blue shell. Calm down. <laughs> god, I love how hectic I get in these games. Yup. I'm insane! Data, if you come over to visit, bring a pillow. Um, I was going to anyway. For you? Oh! Ooh! I just meant in case I like get, uh, you know, super competitive, but you know, that works too. <laughs> what would that have to do with a pillow? Stop me from getting competitive. Uh. <laughs> oh, th <laughs> that! You! Fucking <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit the, I hit the thingy. Oh, you, oh, fucking. <laughs> Waluigi! <laughs> you bitch! Yeah! I'm so sorry to- you know what, Tia's gonna be so glad I'm gone for a week. 
<laughs> oh my god, Tara, that that auto mod is uh yeah very. <laughs> what what got auto modded? I can't see it. A Hold message. A me okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow. Giving him head. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. What... <laughs> On a pillow. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> is child friendly. I guess no, but I still respect him and giving oh. him head pats. I, uh, I guess calm reading is crap. Probably not allowed to curse in your chat. If I'm not allowed to, then so's, but you're swearing, so I have no consent. Um, yeah, I Ta am not child friendly in this. Tara, I do apologize. I did warn you during that stream of AO, I'm not very calm. This is like a one time thing. So I do apologize if you're not enjoying my stream as much anymore. <laughs> Glad you came by the reading stream nonetheless, though. Yeah. <laughs> Change from reading stream to a Mario Kart is a bit I'm of a giving, Yeah. I'm giving him head pats. I guess calm reading is crap. Well, I mean, I can do calm reading, but no, I can no, also calm reading. I, I actually. Mental. Yeah. I actually quite like that idea. Yeah, it's fun. It was really nice. Yeah. I think Flower Glider has slightly worse air speed, so. Or maybe I'm wrong. Well, this I've been using this forever, and I beat Data multiple times with it, so. You know. It's not the car, it's just he's cheating. Simple. <laughs> wow, that was a jump, all right. Yeah. One man no, no. also I, had I, mushies. I see his reason yeah, here. Yeah, fucking one man had mushies. That's cheating. How dare you? <laughs> He's doping. It's allowed. It's in the game. It's... No, you're taking actual mushrooms. We need to have an intervention. I I'm saw sorry, you doping. What? Look, you Who gotta you? stop, all right? I'm the police. What? <laughs> no, you're a figment of my imagination. You're not real. You can't arrest me. Oh, is that why I'm so hot in that case? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Next question, you know, no, that's just that's just you. Oh, okay. What well, like, you, you, you take it back. <laughs> Data, you pushed me to a wall. <laughs> fuck, fuck, no, no, no. Data, if I wanted you to push me against a wall, I would have invited you over here sooner. All right, don't do it now. <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> what? Don't do it. You just don't question it these days. Just don't worry about it, Arthur. <laughs> oh god. Bye, no. Dahlia. Fuck! No, I didn't <laughs> find the green tower. Later, no. sluts. <laughs> god damn it! Back here. Don't worry, Princess, oh, I still love God, you in every way. Just don't bully Data. I'm sorry, I'll stop bullying. I Don't worry, if I bully, bully Data, it's in love. Me and Data, we, you know, I, I love him very much, but I also want to make fun of him because it's funny. Yes, and he's same. shorter than me, so, you know, I can do it without worry. <laughs> We're literally gender. Wait, Data is shorter? Yeah, yeah. I'm six foot. <laughs> well, I forgot. I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. And I hate you, Data, for that. Wait, what? What do you say? The green show. <laughs> Yeah. Data is actually pretty pog champ. No, I agree. I love Data. Thank I you. think he's incredible. Trust me, I simp for him every single day. <laughs> There's a reason he has that um, that jacket he's gonna wear. Yes. Oi. Not trying to like show off too much. Just, you know. Cool mushrooms. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Ow. I just got my power. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh my god, it's spouse moment! Welcome to- Did you just fucking like double get the mushroom- the item blocks, Peepo, just to get them? Away from me. Uh, but hi spouse, welcome to the stream, I hope you're well. It's good to see you. You have a no! You have a fucking fat crush cowboy. on Data. Cool. Oh, Data has a fat crush on me as well, it's an equal opportunity. Don't Wait. worry, we're all good. He is my- he is my darling, and I love him. No! But also, I'm going to beat him. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> I got first, I got first, I got first, I got first, I'm fine. Uh, I, uh... No. Oh, I still I have my, I still have my, I still have my Snapchat filters on, let me just turn that off. You, my... <clears throat> Damn it. Holy fucking no, shit. No, no, no. Later, my God, what's your favorite color? Until the end. Holy Can you fucking tell it's shit. yellow? That was literally... I'm glad you guys my saw- my entire stream. Guys, uh, uh, no, my, my fucking chat's agreeing with me. That was actually the literal closest they could have possibly been. Like, god I can't damn. even tell- it, They crossed the lot. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, honestly, everyone in chat's like, dude, the double items might I have cost you I didn't see it, I was, I was too busy battling, thing. Oh, I gotta show you the clip later. Good <sighs> lord. I wanna see that photo finish. How, oh no, I didn't say the thing! How long are you? No, 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 not long, tall. Mm. Different, <laughs> different. Oh, I wanna- Different thing and- like. Yeah, don't, don't ask him. I can tell you that already. It's fine. <laughs> uh, you two make uh, it. And you... actually, I don't know. 177 centimeters, whatever that is in like. I'm 185. Freedom Eagles. <laughs> freedom Eagles. How many, how many washing machines per mile that is? I don't know. 
Peepo, you got robbed on stream. You passed first. Oh, Peepo. Aww. He tried to get two item boxes, but it cost him the win by, like, literally a frame. Mm. Also, you two do make a beautiful couple. When's the wedding? Oh, no. I wouldn't get I wouldn't get married. We just... I mean, if we did get married, I'd make her a complete replica of the uh, Starship Enterprise, and I think Data would probably oh fall at God. The, the second he walked in. <laughs> just told to be no! <laughs> yes. You're tall. You're tall. I like that. Your butt. I like that. that I'm, too. I'm taller than him. I like me too. <laughs> also, Data's taller than me. Yes, Data is taller than you, Dink, because you're only like, what, two foot four? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Also, Dink can't fight back because they're playing Mario Kart. Yes, that's true. Man, it's so fun. I, and this is why I'm like, the second you said, hey, I'm getting a Switch. I was reading a chat and I fell off. That's why I was like, when you said like, yo, I'm getting a Switch. I was like, holy fucking shit, my life is made. Dahlia. Dahlia. Ha ha. Oh, did I get you, Dahlia? Yeah, no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I don't even know how I got things there, but I did, so I'm not complaining. I thought data was 4-7. Yeah. What? No. Wait, I'm like a Wario compared to you tall ass Luigi's. <laughs> my fucking god. So then why am I playing Waluigi and you're playing- Ow. Oh god damn it, I didn't slow down in time. Enjoy. Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck, Dink. No, don't Ooh. fuck Dink, I mean, ah, oh, fuck, it's Dink. <laughs> He's so young as well. What, me or Data? Because I mean, Data is, you know, young and subtle. And yes, I called him young and subtle. Uh, not, I'm not gonna go against that. Ooh. That's sus, Dink. Fucking problem is, I can literally hear Dink in, in the distance just saying, get dinked, and it, it hurts me every time. <laughs> I'll be the prettiest girl at the ball. Fuck you guys! Did I get no one? <laughs> that was literally the worst fire plower I've ever seen in my life. Go, you go! Said it's so OP. It, you said it was so OP, I didn't say anything. What? No, you did. I swear no, you, you said did. you said that's OP as hell. No. You told me it was OP, and then I tried it, and then I agreed. Sorry, Dahlia. Bye bye. No. Okay. No. Ah! What do you mean? Peepo! Fuck you, Peepo. Yes! No! God damn it. Oh, invincibility in fourth. Yes, please. No! Someone stole my invincibility star! Are you serious? Oh, I could have got third if I kept fuck. that star. Oh. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, no. Yeah, my how many star! bacon slices per pistol? Yes. My fucking star got literally stolen at the last second by some shitty boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Dink just heard everything uh -oh. that I said before. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, listen There's here, you child... little femboy. Wait, what? There's a child labor game in Roblox? What? Oh. I'm not going to be surprised. That's why I don't play Roblox. I mean, there's many other reasons, but that's just one of them. Yes, yes. Um, okay, my, my wrist's hurt and I'm going to cry. I got first. Oh, sorry. Don't cry. I'll call, uh, I'll call my named family doctor tomorrow. What do you mean named family doctor? <laughs> Is uh, there a difference? If you had mush, you could have shortcut at the end. Fuck. Shit, boo. Fucking... God damn, I love controller uh, drift so goddamn much. <laughs> so you get for buying a used Switch. It wouldn't gonna happen anyway. Yeah, in about a year or so instead. Well, this shush. <laughs> Dink X Games, I mean, what? I mean, Vin, if you're down to write that shit. Mm. I need to drink of water. Oh, Estonia is like purist? Oh, I got I chosen. Oh. I don't know what that means either, to be honest, but... Sorry for my typos, my... Well, I mean, your wrist hurts. Makes sense. <clears throat> right. Are you ready, tall-legged man? Mmm, ass. Good answer. Used to be boobs. Oh, what? I thought your response to my tall-legged man comment was just ass. I was like, okay. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, fucking Peepo's playing the lock. 
you know, I know what people are doing. They're playing that get that mode where, like, basically, you'll hold back, get really good items, and then fucking pull forward, like, out of nowhere. I already have a dink fic in the works. Ooh! Oh, yeah, with Skylar. Oh, no, Skylar's writing it. It was with Fun 10, isn't it? Wait, were these were your mushrooms data? No. Ah. Tall legged man. Indeed. Hey. Get back here, data. Get back here, data. Shit. Night night. And I'll keep my red shells. Uh oh. Blue shell. Good try, Dahlia. Farewell. <laughs> oh, crap. What? Boost all my red shells. Doesn't matter. I love the way you try to oh, stop, Dahlia. Dahlia. I, lo <laughs> I saw what you were doing. I mean, I'm not judging because I do the same thing all the time, but still. God damn it. <laughs> Almighty tall legged man, aka princess. <laughs> ah! Thank you. I like being tall legged man. Ooh. Peepo! But thank you very much, Tara, you're awesome. Hmm. Oh, my legs are shaking in anticipation. <coughs> my throat's getting weary from the fact that I've been talking like this. No! Damn it, I don't pay enough attention to the chomps. They are rude. <coughs> Don't blue no. shell me. Don't blue shell me. No one no. do it. <gasps> what? There's a gap there? Oh, okay. That's good. <clears throat> Goodbye, Dink. Ow! Jeez. Ow, ow, ow my ass. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> ow my ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking chuckle. Good lord, you are an evil <laughs> villain at the finest. I am, yes. I won't allow it. First place. Thank you. Even though I may be very chaotic in chats. No, please be chaotic. No, we are chaotic. No, no. People, I swear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ruh row. What happened? People dropped a bomb on right onto the finish line just as I was oh, approaching. Oh, Vin. You ass. Oh, bravo. Not Thank in a good Vin. way. See, Vin, you believed in me the whole time, didn't you, Vin? Didn't, didn't you, Vin? You believed in me, right? You believed in me, Vin, <sighs> didn't you? Hmm. Right screen. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I yo! Love this, I, I love the stream, I love Data as a homie. Yeah, oh, yeah. I do too. Don't yo! I, I, I got first, I gotta take it. If I'm above people, I gotta fucking screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, those are... So, slash and then something is like... Um, mm. what, do you, what do you call those things, anyway? Um, Shortness, I don't know. No, it, 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 they have a specific name. Excuse me while I write a, a Dick X Games fanfic. No, 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 when, when you're... <laughs> Dedicate when you specify the tone of your message with a backslash and then indicators indicators, right? Mm. So slash J means it's a joke. Yeah like that. Oh my god, can I commission someone to write a games X data fanfic, please like oh my <laughs> one of the one of those like really cringe fucking uh, Cringe ones from like 2003 where it was like, you know Mordecai went to go and kitna <laughs> I can't remember the other character's name so I wanted to make the joke, but I couldn't um Yeah, like a really cringe Wattpad fanfic of like me and Data or something. I love it. <laughs> it's so perfect. Do we do 200? 200 CC, but with uh, mushrooms only. No, not 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 yeah with mushrooms. Only. No, yeah, Fenty. okay. Just just Fenty items. What about all items? <laughs> isn't isn't Fenty items all items? Or... Yes, it is. It just means that the items are more hectic. Really, yeah. I haven't seen the boomerang yet. Oh, I got it. Oh. All right. Uh, when I'm in public yeah. or not with my friends, I'm very quiet. But when I'm with streamers alone or with my friends, I'm very chaotic, as it should mm. be. Yeah. Oh, did you set it to easy CPU? Fucking baby, just set it to normal. Jeez. All right then, smart guy. I'm sorry. I. What? Oh. <laughs> the fucking. Time. Why does it do that? <laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> That was damn it. outstandingly timed because you went, all right then, smart guy, a communication error. I thought you'd kicked me or some shit. I was like, oh, fuck. No, I closed oh. the lobby. Oh, 
Holy shit, that fucking timing on that Damn it. immense. <laughs> Alright then, smart guy. Disconnects. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to change it. But, I, I, felt, I felt in danger right, I'm for in the a lobby second. again. I felt, I felt scared all of a sudden. You were just like, alright, smart guy, and then I left. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh. Um, Data, does it harm if I'd ask you to accept my friend request on Discord? No worries, I can. Data just gets a lot of friend requests because he's very popular and cool. No, well, I mean, I don't anymore because I have friends. I only have friends of other friends turned on. So. Uh. Um, Asher thighs is nice, but we all know it's cock. <laughs> Depends. Yes. That's my answer. Yeah. <gasps> I've just seen the Tom look behind you. It's so cute. Yes. I have because I want to have like a really comfortable stream because I had Link on my uh, microphone stand, like staring at the camera, and I have good old Tom Nook boy chilling out with me. Mm. I'm taking him with me home because I've discovered that I can't sleep without hugging something, and Tom Nook is a really good hug buddy. So um, I've not been able to sleep for the past few nights, but as soon as I start hugging Tom Nook when I go to bed, it makes it helps me sleep. So yeah. Trust me, when data comes over, I'm gonna sleep like a fucking rock. Why are you bonking? No, bonking is not for. It's only for people who are horny. All right. Are you not? Well, no, because Honda bonked me for I love not you, winning the last race. I love that you had to take a second to determine if you were horny or not. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta think about it. I mean, yeah, I, you know, it could be filling at any time of the day. <laughs> uh, Tom's no Tom Nook's severed head. It's fine. I paid him for it. <laughs> 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 he accepted a loan. It's all good. Uh, oh, shit. Yes. Oh, don't forget we have a bonk command as well, you where you can use someone's at, at user as well. When data comes over, push him off the bed. No. If anything, I'm going to pull him closer to me. Fuck it. He won't, he won't be allowed to leave. <laughs> oh, that one. Those are two extreme sides, and I'd, I'd, I'd rather be in the middle. <laughs> I'm sure you would data be. Data 20, 24-7? Yes. You really are. I'm not lonely. I just don't have a cuddle buddy. I'm waiting for it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna win this one. Arthur and Dali, are you talking okay? Yeah. Are you, are you, I feel like I've scared you into silence. Sorry, I feel bad. <laughs> no! Oh, fuck, oh I, damn it! I forgot how immense this one is. Shit. Okay, yeah, 200 CC. Oh god, this oh, is barely my, controllable. Does my this raging is barely controllable. Sorry. Turn Dahlia up to yeah. this fight, so I can't. No, you're saying. Wait, oh, come on. Okay, this is impossible. I'm quiet because this I'm. This is very hard to control. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. sorry. Oh, I just thought I'd scared you into silence. <laughs> this I was worried I'd scared you into silence. drifting off the cool, edges. But... Is Arthur okay? I let it. Dahlia, please let him out the basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Send help. <laughs> I thought you said simp help. Arthur, blink twice if you need help. Oh, that's gonna be really helpful at a Discord call, isn't it? Okay. It's... Take <laughs> help if you need you help. Know who, you know who's hurting me. Let's see. I'm coming, King. Oh, please, Finn. Oh, you're helping. You mean Arthur? Sorry, I thought you meant me. Uh, no. I got so excited to see Vin. How the fuck is Peepo so far ahead? Because Peepo is Peepo. What the? Also, you're gonna bring him closer. Fair. Also, you're gonna bring him closer to you to do what? May I ask? I There's this fun thing called sex. <laughs> God. Sorry. I have to. That was a quick answer. It's a ah. presentation. Ah! Oh. This is impossible to control. Did someone just overtake me. Invincible bitches. Yeah, boy, Bill. No. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Data? The last minute. Vin, there's a com bonk command. Also, I can come <laughs> next week. What the fuck? Wait, what? It's got lightning strike. Shit. Oh my god. Get dinked, bench. I swear. <laughs> my throat my hurts. My camera is stuck in the worst place. Like. <laughs> Oof. I couldn't see. Oh, Arthur. Yeah. Okay. Let's not play 200 CC for the sake of Arthur. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Ow. Ugh. Break drifting is my friend. No, that's the only well, reason I, I can master that. Yet, so. Yeah, it's the only reason you can. The only way you can play to under CC is through break drifting. Also, yeah. who wants to do Grumble Volcano? No. Cool. Sure. There, there's this fun thing called. Oh, don't quote it. No, ding. <laughs> Last time you said eat my ass for breakfast. I did not say Glad eat my ass for breakfast. 
I'm sorry, it hold the phone, what? <laughs> <laughs> that very much caught me off guard. <laughs> Two. I might have to set the stream to mature. <laughs> <laughs> That's why mine's always <laughs> defaulting to mature. Uh... Did you say eat your ass for- right. Oh my god, <laughs> chat, no, please, please, chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I've not, left it. I've not lost any uh, followers yet, so I'd say I'm doing alright. <laughs> I think everyone is old enough to be mature. That's the yeah. power of the internet, mm -hmm. you never know. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I love this boss, it's so peaceful. No, I didn't get an item box, damn it. I, just, no, I, I don't know, there's what something about... Like, <laughs> <laughs> right off. I'ma take first, don't mind me. It's always good to see them. Data's the youngest here, probably. He is small, it's precious. What? I'm not young. Aren't I older than you? How old are you? Uh, 19, uh, 25. You're not. Number. I'm 20. You're not... Oh yeah, you turned 20 in February, didn't you? I thought, fuck! <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, my brain is like just apparently left reality. Sorry. Yep. I'm too boom. I'm too boom. No, no, no. When <laughs> divine always is. Oh, These are scapegoat for being old. I hate the internet. I even hate the world. Well, hopefully the internet here can be a little bit better. Yep. No! Ah, oh my ass! Fucking lightning strike. See, I like how you told me not to d bully Data Tara, and now you're bullying him. Exactly. How dare you. Star time on third Peepo. place. That's definitely fair. Oh, Peepo. and I... Peepo, don't even dare use that horn against me. <laughs> <clears throat> I tripped over my own banana. How many stars do am I going to get? What? Yeah, 250. It's not ready for many. Yeah, let's not play then after this. Yeah, valid. I just love the rush of being able to run outrun a fucking med shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Honestly, you're like, if you use mushrooms in the right way, you can actually have the red shell just constantly follow you like you're that fast. Ah man. Oh, hey, Potato. How you doing, man? Ooh, nice name. Uh, Data, you're the dad. Do your job. What? Akuna Patata. I'm very happy I'm not lost. Hey! <laughs> Good job, Arthur. You know what? You get food tonight. Well done. I'm, I'm not a dad. Whoa! Wait, what? What? That, what, what? Was that a worse joke than I intended it for it to be? What? 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 what, what? I was reading chat. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> what happened? Do you know what? Sign up for Baby Park. <laughs> baby, baby Park. Park. Yes, Baby Park. Where is it? Which one? Let's see. Well, I'm 32, so I'm much older than you. Shut you know, up, Jake. <laughs> oh, my kid. Egg or leaf. Ooh. Objectively, that is very much leaf. older than us, yes. I think it's 25. Data, leaf cup. Mm -hmm. what? Wait, 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 which one? The leaf one. Oh. The fucking leaf. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not I that, didn't see that. It it's not that hard. <laughs> Oopsie. You're fine. Love you. <laughs> Did it all make you a dad, even though I'm male? What? What? I'm non to Empreg, right? Uh, excuse me, I'm <laughs> over here, thank you very much, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> very fucking offended right now. Let's see, no, my secret. Dink, oh, oh no, I'm so sorry for revealing that you're young seven years younger than you let on. Forgive yeah. me. <laughs> oh no, I'm younger, shit! I have more time in life, crap. Okay, so, I, and I almost, almost, almost died. What, what happened? His wrist was it so... Is it daddy? <laughs> oh, great, yes. Some I am. <laughs> no, that's chuckles. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. I just skipped right past the grass. Okay, then. <laughs> Yeah, you can just skip right through the grass. Okay, then. That's kind of broken. Give me items. Nope. Who got me with a banana when I have three red shells on my ass? 
Oh my god, I'm seven. Well, the end is nigh. It's fine. I wanted to die. This is literal fucking chaos. Yep, and I love it. I fourth, fourth, I get a blue fourth I'll take fourth. I'll take fourth. I got a, I got a fucking <laughs> lucky. I got a fucking lucky eight at the very Jesus, end. That was mayhem. <laughs> that eight at the end is the only thing that stopped me. <laughs> I think I just decided to try what death is. What? What happened? Whew, did I they, can you adopt me so I have a reason to call you daddy? Data is crusty, musty, dusty, greasy, and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Right, I, let's see. Vince said, I just remembered Baby Park in DS there is a PvE mission where the bomb 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 gets bigger every lap. Oh, God. Man, I love the PvE missions in DS. Oh, my God. I never played them. I just was too busy. Man, oh, you're missing out. I, well, I was too busy playing more Ouija Pinball as a kid. So You are missing out. Play them, please. They are so good. All right, let me just buy an original DS real quick for like 70 quid. because I'm, I can actually send you a DS like right now. You'd want to send me one, really? Yes. Really? Yes. I would actually buy one off you, considering. No, I'm going to send it to you for free. You can play it and then you can send it back. <laughs> <laughs> loaning. Knowing shipping, it's going to cost as much just to ship the bastard than it will be to buy the damn thing from CEX. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do Rainbow Road? Which one? There are multiple. I hate uh, dry drive, is it? Oh, good. I have... Last lap, he'd be thick. Six down. Billion, nine hundred and seventy-two billion, six hundred and eighty-three billion. Don't try and read it. I, didn't, I gave up on the number. It's in my basement. That is more than the human has ever produced. Data, let's meet in German in June. Meet in German, not Germany. Just just speak in German for a bit. Shit. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> My god, you went full Jontron there. Shit. Da piss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not Jontron, but. <laughs> no, it had very much. It had Jontron vibes to it. Oh, okay. Ah, well, uh, suckers. You have three banana peels. <laughs> I'm doing horribly. Arthur, fuck you. No, Retro. People get back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> when? <laughs> That's wait, the what? thing. Up to you. <laughs> oh, wait. Alright, okay. Over the hills. Round the daisies. Hi, Dahlia. Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, bomb was to push off the platform. Oh. No, don't red I know I did. You have to wait a little bit on the two seconds. If you do it exactly on two seconds, it doesn't work. For me, anyway. Yep, okay. Goodbye. I needed a bit of, like, training. Oh, what the fuck? Get back here, you fucking nerd. No. I feel like it. Fucking dink destroyed two of my red shells. You know what? You deserve this one, Beta. Fuck you. Hmm. What was that noise? And I missed the item. Great. I'm sorry, Dink has a fucking lucky eight. Are you kidding? What's that other crusty guy that's not Data Nata, is it? Who's Data Nata? Never heard of him. Why is everyone getting invincibilities? I saw like no! five people got it in the same time. How on earth? Oh, there we go. Invincibility. Let's go. <laughs> Just in time. Can you hit me? Who is in first? Depo. Not for long. Oh, another invincibility. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so it's lucky. Got, why is there so many? I'm getting Ooh. it. I got two stars in a row. I'm sorry, even with a golden mushroom and invincibility, I got fourth. Uh, Lena! How you doing? Welcome! Lena! Oh my god, hello! Do you have a Switch and do you have Mario Kart? In which case, you are obligated to join us right now. Please. <laughs> I got third. I'm very happy. And no, that's good. That, that is good. And it is called an OTF4. You are one point. <laughs> of course, people got 60. Wow, you know, I didn't Oh, I didn't even realize that there was a nice try and then Lakito like, just, you know, clapping. Yeah, no. Well, have you never gotten fourth before? <laughs> No. Oh, You've it's never, funny, isn't it? You never got a not top three before. It's so no. fun when you just when it basically just tells you, ha, 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 fuck you. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I love the way we all run on scene. It's like an A-team scene. Oh. I beat Data, I let's beat go! Data. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Apologies. To answer your question, yes, Peepo did get first in all races because Peepo's fucking overpowered. <laughs> yes! So yeah, anyone watching, if you guys uh, want to join, now's the time. We're intermissioned. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh my. Dink, you should not celebrate that much. That's called rude. <laughs> no, it means that Dink thinks that you're a really good Mario Kart player, so they're happy that they beat you. It's a compliment. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't be able to play. Uh, I did. What? What's going on in my chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> You're asking yeah. that now? Mm. Ooh, could someone type the word hype in my chat for me a sec? Just because I want to show you guys something. Hello. You do not... don't have a exclamation mark? No, it's got a thing that means that even if you type the word hype in a message, it will show up the message anyway, so it doesn't matter if you put an exclamation mark or not. Okay. It's really cool. It's um, under Streamlabs settings. You can have it where it's either an exclamation mark. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just asking, like, why it would... Oh, it just means if someone it. if someone brings up the word hype, then it means it will just paste the message out. Oh, fair enough. It, it searches for just a word instead of like. Yeah, I know how it works. I'm oh, just sorry, yeah. confused why you'd want that. Yeah, but yeah, it just means that you can see what because uh, I've decided that I'm going to have different rewards based off of different levels of the hype train if we ever reach it. <laughs> nice. Hey, Trooper, how you doing? <gasps> Trooper. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work on my stream. No. Hmm. Um, I've been having a car for today, and I've been driving so much. I finally found the drawing. Lena, welcome. I, I embrace you God. as a car person now. You did it. Um, you did it. Congratulations. If the day is not if today was not a Sunday, I would have ran to the nearest store and bought a switch right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh Vin, and you would have been able to replace Announcement it. Trooper says uh, games uh, games Race 2 is the definition of hype. That's I mean You fucking do right to him! Especially Mark Kart, <laughs> yes. Sorry. I've always been a car person, estimation. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were you were scared of driving at some point. Right? There was the conversation in stream last time. Wait, what? Confession? Last time we all had that conversation. Hey, games, watch this. Go easy on me. You fucking. <laughs> oh, well, if we're gonna do that. I'm using tilt controls. <laughs> <laughs> I've taught him well. <laughs> of driving, yes, but cars are like, ah, well, this is different. Alright. Well, um, let's uh, go on then. Oh, should we do a mirror? Let's see. Jaxie, did you set the hype thing to VIPs and up? No, it, maybe there was just a bit of delay on it. It should work for I everyone. A, I think there's a delay as well. Yeah. Um, Let me check commands real quick. Actually, oh, I'm just, should, we do team, should we do teams and no CPU? Uh, sounds good. You guys like that? Yeah, me and Arthur against you and Dahlia. Well, I mean, there are three <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy with you know, that seemed like the obvious choice in that situation, didn't it? Right, of course. Okay. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. That's what we were all going for, right? Oh. Whether well, you can do different color share announcements if you uh, ever want to use it uh, for a bad bot. Wow, Trooper, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, okay. Uh, is everyone good with that team composition? What's the team composition? Uh, oh, wait, you you guys can't see it? No, we can't see it. Oh, uh, Data, Arthur, and Dahlia, Jax, Stink, and Peepo. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, yeah, no, Hype Train is set I to guess. everyone, so it should work. I guess. I guess I'll play with Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. No, no. <laughs> is that, is that, are you talking about the game or the relationship? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> no, this always makes me happy. Aww. So sorry. Oh no, even I, I was gonna say Tara was like, oh, who is the lovely women? They sound so hot. So you know you've got two sims. <laughs> Wait, is this the furries versus the normies? Shit it is! <laughs> No shit, yeah, Oh shit! Oh it. fuck, it's not time to shine! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let's fucking go! We got this. Oh, on first of course, Neo Bowser City. Fucking love this course. Yeah, Safari's against the normies. Let's do this shit. <laughs> fucking lick him up. It's basically data stream versus Jax's stream. Yeah, essentially, and I'm loving it. <laughs> we're, we're gonna win this, guys, right? Mm. Right. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Come on, my people that aren't in the call right now and can't talk to me, let's do this! Uh, jokes, on, jokes on you, furries have no friends, so we play Marika all the time. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, that's a disadvantage for us. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Forget about friends, we need to win! <laughs> oh what? Oh god damn it. Who the hell's can, playing Mario? You can win games, thank you Epic, I love you! 
Luckily, I've literally time trialed this course, so I've got a bit of a good idea of how to do wow. shit. I'm going to lose, aren't I, now I've said that. That's my yes. do. Yeah, had a feeling. No! Damn it. Bow, now, 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 bow. <laughs> the data is rat. Apparently. How dare you. That's <laughs> actually a pretty bad insult in Apex. Yeah, no, his son is totally a horse. Come on. What? I'm joking. I couldn't think of an animal that you did. Well, actually, what would Data's persona animal be? Let's, let's have an in-depth think about this for a minute. I'm curious. Oh, my fucking god. Because hmm. the thing is, Data's quite, you know, nerdy. I, I, I think I'd see him as, like, a, a breed of dog. I don't know which, but there is a breed a of dog. 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 Oh, dog. Clearly not a fucking hearing dog. God. Well, oh, a Super 8. Let's go. What? Oh, fuck. I threw a red shell and forgot peepers on my team. No! I think it avoids it for me. Data would be a baby duck. Aww! Precious. A baby duck? Baby duck. Uh, I would like to disagree with that. What do you think you'd be then? What, what's your persona, Data? I have no idea what I'd be, but I can just say no no. You can just say no, simple. Yeah. You're a no. I'd be me. That's not an animal. Well, I mean, to be honest, fans. Exactly. Yeah, I believe your red shells avoid teammates, and I'm 95% confident about this. I was going to say, I saw one go past Peepo earlier, so I'm good to just keep these zombies as defense. Oh, come on. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I just saw Dahlia disappear on my screen. Is he okay? Yeah, Dahlia just just drove off the edge and I just saw it disappear off my screen. Data would be a nerd bird. You know what? Yes. This map is rough. Yeah, this map is pretty rough. Yeah. Ooh, you beat Dingo last second. Jesus. Oh, my. Shit, building's gonna collapse? All right, be good? Ow. my <laughs> chest. <laughs> uh. Wait, Data, you're dating? Not officially, no. No, me, uh, me and Data. Do again? We just severely oh, yes. fucking care about each other. <laughs> oh, oh, my chest. Data, 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 to get the starfish start late on too. I know, I know. Thank you, Epic. Thank you, people. Um, tight ears, the speed hacks. Yes, I do. I mean, what? Did Data just moan? If he did, I'm all for it. No, I didn't. Oh, shame. Should have said yes, and then I would have just okay, stopped playing and let you win. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> no, no take backsies now. It's too late. Oh! <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? Donkey Kong Jungle, bitches. Oh, oh yes. God. I fucking love this course. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, damn right it is. It's got his face on it. <laughs> Hold on. I want to say it. I want to say it. Oh! Where do you think he got it from? Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. I've stolen a bunch of shit from him because he's so creative. Yep. Honestly, I always say that Data is like my inspiration on Twitch. How though? Well, you know, I wouldn't be streaming if it wasn't for you, so. Pretty big inspiration, I'd say. Uh. <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's your offer? <laughs> he doesn't know how to respond because he doesn't know how to accept compliments. It's adorable. I love the music in this course. It's so fucking jazzy. It is pretty good. Oh. The fucking big band that played this, that did this course are outstanding. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna try not. Oh, that wasn't me. That was not me. <laughs> Just to clarify. No, I know, no. Oh god, no! Oh. Damn it. Did they update Mario Kart? Yes, there are new courses now with a DLC that's available for half the price of the game originally. <laughs> Dink taking all the item hits for you lot. Thank you, Dink. We love you. Oh, we're just playing teams. Oh, no, I see. I thought you meant about the call. No, yeah, we're just playing on teams. Oh. 
No, oh, not another one, dink! I feel like I've got this a little bit too easy right now. I'm, uh, I'm gonna just chill out for a bit. I mean, that's the calmest I've ever been. Shut up. No, I mean, just in the sense of it's nice to be calm for once. I'm feuding. Goodbye. That was evil. He was literally just waiting there for me. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. Uh, yep. There we go. No. No. I checked Twitter. <laughs> also, thank you for the tweet. I'm so sorry uh, for not <laughs> like, tweeting at you either, but I didn't know I'd be playing. I, I, I forgot until like halfway through story. Oh. I was like, oh shit. How'd you Mine do? From second place How many bits for uh, oh. it? Is zero bits? I'll sell my soul to you. 5k bits? Lena's got it right. 5k bits. Ooh. How about that? Sounds pretty good. I mean, I'd sell my soul for 5k bits, but then again. Let me I convert don't... my 12 years to 5k bits real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is Golden Frims and Stars, basically, mm. yeah. It was wonderful. The greatest time ever, Will Smith. Does that beautiful woman have a Twitch? I want to say hi to her. Dahlia, do you have a Twitch? I. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Oh. Maybe. It, maybe. Maybe in the future. Definitely Ooh. do it. Definitely. <laughs> Exciting. Yes. <laughs> well, you heard it there, Ta uh, sorry, Tara. The uh, beautiful lady does not have Twitch yet. <laughs> You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Tara said it. You do have a very nice voice. I'll say that. Thank you. Thank you. Also, me. Uh, you know, me, Pepe, and Dink just uh, chilling out as, you know, kings and queens as we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's all good. Remember what you promised? I didn't promise, but sorry. Yes, I will. Don't Maybe worry. okay, oh. I'll be waiting. Oh, Tara. Mm. Cute. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Dahlia is so precious. Agreed! Oh, I, I already got uh, Vincent into streaming, so. Good. Wait, Vincent <laughs> streams? Bitch, what the fuck? I haven't followed him. What? How did you not know? I'm following him now. Forget being last, I don't give a shit, I'm following him. <laughs> follow him, follow, and I'm gonna give him a shit ton of money as soon as he becomes a video. There we go. I don't care about being last, uh, I wanna follow Vin. Vin's amazing. Too late, Vin, I already followed you. And I'm gonna watch every stream from now on. <laughs> Be first, then follow. Too bad, I've already done that. Don't worry, I'll win for you, BB, but I no. wanted to follow you first because you Red shell, you bastard. It's all right. Have to do it again. I blocked your first one fair and square. Uh-oh. Whee! Yes. Get back here. Hey, Dink. How you doing? Oh, we're all so close. What? How do people get there so quickly? What? Or just one big happy. I, I have no idea. People with magic together. Oh man, this music. It, yeah, it really no, fucking. No. That last bit there really gets you, doesn't it? Ow! My asshole! <laughs> it hurt! Oh. Oh, you wanna. Had to. No! Bye. He wants to kiss it better. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Oh. All right, listen here. <laughs> the whistles pog. Oh, I'm glad the whistles are pog. Because I thought they'd be in the way. I'm glad they're pog. Dahlia! No. Dahlia! No. Oh, I just missed you. Man, the fucking. Dahlia? No. Oh. Dahlia! No. This is tense as hell. The Goomba took my red shell, are you kidding me? Yeah, they don't like him. Oh. Come on, seriously. I'm protected. Data, you sussy backer. What did Data do? <laughs> I 
I gotta do anything in, anything in my power. No. That's my power. <laughs> it, it, it worked. Not really. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, don't get me fourth. Not now. Oh my oh. god, that was so close. I did horribly at the last second there. Oh my god. I didn't actually get the last ramp. That's so... Holy <laughs> shit. Failing to block it. I fucking dodged it while being like lifted up. I was fine. Uh, me, Pupo, and Dahlia just had the insanest... <laughs> what happened? ...dash to the finish line. <laughs> was it that bad? It was It was literally within two centimeters. Got hit at the red shell like, right oh. before the line. Oh my god. Oh, I love what stuff like that when it happens. It's awesome. Mm. Let's see. Uh, the best. I used to have this thing where I learned one small skill every summer, and it took me a whole summer to learn to whistle a note. Oh my god. Ooh. Dude. Oh, is that why you were impressed by the whistling? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. The, um, the action is broken <laughs> because I had to reinstall the bot, and it. <laughs> File not found. Yeah. That's the action. <laughs> I fell asleep. Who won? Uh, it's up in the air. I on my screen I said I got first. It doesn't work, no. <laughs> you know those old cartoons mm -hmm. like Tom and Jerry. Yeah, what about them? What you mean the whistling and stuff? <laughs> oh, like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Crap, I forgot it. Same as well. It does look cool when they whistle. I agree. God, this is so cool. I'm sorry, I just want to take a second to say that Finn's <laughs> fucking awesome. I love Finn. Wee. Wee. Oh man, the music for the Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 8 is so good. This one's alright. I'd say I much prefer the N64 edition. That's amazing. No, this one's pretty good. No, you. I'm just saying you're incredible, Vin, and I just want to let you know it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh no! Una reverse. Trash all of a sudden. No, oh my. I'm so bad. Oh! Got hit by that red shell. Oh, Connie the Finch. Fuck you, Data. No! Oh, you want to play that way? <laughs> no, don't boost us, Dink! Ah, oh, Dink boosted us and they fell off. <laughs> Oops. NDS Rainbow makes you dizzy and the Wii one is just bullshit. Oh, 100%. No, nah, nah, Nintendo DS Rainbow is great. I like that one. I'm trying to wait for a moment to use my fucking mushroom so that I don't push myself off the course. Ooh. <gasps> oh, I fucking shortcutted. Yes. No. Oh, hi, Link. Twink. Hi. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> no. I call him Twink because he is. No, oh, come on. That was so close. <laughs> Every time, this edge. Yeah, that, that corner's a bitch. Fucking unadulterated speed, this course. Oh, I have a gold mushroom in Bar second. and queen, let's go. I fell. I fell. Data. Data. No. Oh, you can't. I have a gold mushroom. How could you still beat me? <laughs> Literally was going full fucking speed at you. Nah. Shit. Ugh. Oh. Help you be streaming when I come back? Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, Just don't come last today. So? I probably will. <laughs> what? What's up, Dahlia? I'm just talking to a certain someone. Ah. Uh, I'm trying very hard not to jump off the course every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I dropped off as well. But... Wow! Oh. The furries win! Well, you heard it first, folks. The furries always win. Yeah. Alright, let's not two teams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling in the mood for it. 
Uh, let me help you out, Gaines. Oh, how are you going to help me? Kind of kind of e -book being here. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Oh, that's okay, Dinkus. Thank you so much for coming by. It was lovely to have you on stream today. Bye-bye. Bye. Diva -bye. people, the furries win! Data finished quickly. He can't be the last. I'm used to him finishing quickly. Oh, it's fine. No. <laughs> All right, if anyone else wants to join, please feel free. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. Uh, well, I mean, the only punishment is being bumped. So, uh, um, and you can't um, bump me unless, unless you also like public humiliation. Um, oh. it's valid. <laughs> Data finish it. Yeah, there, no. there we go. There it is. I might be in chat for a bit though. That's good, Dink, that you can watch me destroy Data's ass. I'm sorry, what? In the, way in the game. Other way around. But, or in the game okay. or uh, no. Yes. Alright, <laughs> <right>, okay. <laughs> Fuck, I should end soon. I still have to pack for tomorrow. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I might end in half an hour. Alright. Let's go. Cheer us um, on, Dink. I believe in us. Mm. Uh I wanna do. Hmm. No, why are you bonking me? I've not pa packed yet because I didn't get a chance. To I didn't have time. I've been trying to sort out the stream and everything, and you know, and I'm, I get busy. And... All right, look, I don't have. I didn't have chance because I was too busy worrying about the stream. I'm sorry. I woke up at like twelve. You know. <laughs> it's fine. I don't leave till twelve tomorrow. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing one of those things where it's like I leave at fucking four in the morning sort of thing. They don't even need to pack. You, you could you just wake up early tomorrow. And... Yeah, Jack's be a good boy and pack. I will after the stream in thirty minutes. Look. It's only going to be 9 p.m. I think I'm going to have some time to pack before my bedtime. That's plenty Trust. of time. Yeah, my yeah. bedtime's at 1, p 1 a.m. I got plenty of time. I love Tara's random calling of Krusty to you. I don't understand what it means, and I'm not even going to look it up because I'm scared. What, the word Krusty? Yeah, well, like in this context, what it means. Uh, don't I be just like... got told off by Arthur, but I don't know for what. You, you what? Just, Arthur, what a dolly. I got told do. off by Arthur, but I don't know for what. Mm. <laughs> what am I getting told off for? Arthur, what did dolly do? Your bedtime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely I'm sad I have to return the car tomorrow. Aww. <laughs> See you, Eloy. Eloy, Eloy, thank you so much for dropping by. What? Don't be like me who stays up eight hours to pack and then can't sleep on a 12 hour flight back home. So that was a year ago. Still, I, I, don't worry, I'm not flying. It's literally just going to be a two hour train ride to my hometown. It's not exactly going to be, you know, crazy ass ride. Like, it's literally the smallest trip. Britain is small. That's the main thing to take away. <laughs> we are small and it makes things a hell of a lot easier when it comes to travel. By the way, why are all of the maps that I get selected just the ones that get chosen? What you mean every? It's been like this for the last four races. What you mean you've been chosen every time? Yeah. Huh? Why not? Power. Seems a little weird. But... Power, money, wealth. I don't know. Yes, all of them. Ow. Do you have any of those? Uh, power. <laughs> Over you. Okay, right. Let, let's take a second to listen here. Let's continue playing Mario Kart. <laughs> It's not small enough for me to visit my friend in Manchester, though. Maybe I'm lazy. Well, I mean, you're you know, lazy. I was going to say, London to Manchester is a bit of a... Just purely from how many people go from London to Manchester. I forgot we're not in teams. People, get back here. No! I think I just saw Data Falls with Sounds like a good day. <laughs> Fuck. I'm for you, Dahlia. Oh, there we go. Oh. Bullet Bill! In third place, that seems fair. Are you complaining? No. <laughs> How could I complain about that? Oh. Riff, but uh, nice. Like 90% of my friends went up north for uni, so no friends here. I can always come Aww. visit you, Vin, if you want. I don't mind getting a train. It'd be cool to come visit you. Ah, oh, Peepo's in trouble. I got four red shells. Oh, boy.
God, the saxophone player for this track. No! Uh, uh, His last fucking green shell protected him, bitch! Shit. Uh, Imagine being within a chase travel of one also, of my favorite streamers. You don't know what it means? What, what world do, uh, do you come from? Um, but... Uh, no, yes. Oh, dang. <laughs> it is the sword. Wait, Lena! I know what crusty in the normal sense means, but like... Calling someone. I th I think he means that he thinks it's some sort of like um, urban dictionary word yeah. or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, but I haven't seen my family in two years. Technically, you can go around the world in one day. That is true if you want to die, because it's a fucking nightmare to do. <laughs> Ah, oh, see, I should save my points for... Oh, I want to save my points for adding a command, because I have a command idea. Oh. Mm, a really good one. It's about scamming. <laughs> oh, no. God damn it. What? 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 what what's the problem? I don't, I don't scam. <laughs> I, I, I have a screenshot that says otherwise. No, that's, that's blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal. I haven't been to a friend's house ever. It doesn't happen that I didn't... People, oh, I want to come around your house and we can make pancakes together, please. Yes. Yeah, I'm making pancakes. my way. Around. Yeah, everyone come over for pancakes. Is, that's, is that sign some of code work for something I don't know? <laughs> yeah, because me and Dahlia were going to make pancakes. That was the plan. What, what? Was what that, was that noise? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that summed it up. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that noise? Oh fucking... man, pancakes, I really like pancakes, man. Nah, they are fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, drizzle me some stuff on those pancakes. Damn. Yes. Right, also wanted to say, um, you can pitch me your idea. If I like your idea, I might just... Come over for pancakes? <laughs> no, don't command. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. the command. Oh, all right. What's your idea? Go on. I want to hear it. No, no. What's your idea? Oh, so I um remember when we switched um when me and Data switched like personalities on Discord for a, a day on April Fool's Day. Yeah. I may have taken the opportunity to write a few messages in his favor and screenshot no, them. But you didn't. For later use. <laughs> you so... actual scam mailer. <laughs> I uh, I didn't want to tell you on the I didn't want to send any on the day in case you did what? any in my name. So now what I have is a bunch. This treachery that I'm here ago? I have a shit ton of messages that has, just have Data's name on it. You remember when I sent you that screenshot earlier of you saying Star Wars is better? <laughs> oh <No>, my <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> this is actual blackmail. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> Police? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I know, right? Oh my god. I'm so sorry, but I, I was in a server with my friends and they're like, Yo, your data, could you write anything? I'm like, yeah. And they said, dude, that looks like oh he's writing it. And I went, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hmm. Now you get data to do whatever you want when he comes, OMG. Well, no, he'd do whatever I want anyways, but that's beside the <laughs> point. You guys switched accounts for a day? Yeah, me, I was data, data was me, and uh, I we was- We didn't like, switch accounts accounts, but like- no, yeah, we just like <laughs> princess spitting facts. I just found the perfect opportunity, and I thought it was hilarious. What does this say about our relationship that I didn't abuse I'm my power? Evil. The fact that I love you, and I would never use it for meme, but I just have a couple of funny images. It's nothing like terrible, but I mean, you know, Star Wars is better was a funny thought. Yes. Can we have uh, Data X Princess X Pancakes? That sounds like a good fanfic to me. It says who's on top and who's who's the beta. Well, I'm the beta, so that it doesn't make sense then. <laughs> uh, but I'm visiting friends that don't use Discord or game. I see. Sorry. Uh, they are the good Asian kids that my parents wanted. Ah, I see. Oh my god, Vincent. Uh. <laughs> Jax is easily the Omega. Data, uh, data. Dink, you know that's not true for a second. <laughs>
I think Data has Beta vibes. Yeah, that's I think I have some strong words to exchange with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got a dink wheeze from that. <laughs> and I accidentally quit the game. Ah. Oh, rip. But yeah, games, you have permission to come over. I'm going to be over there and we're going to make pancakes. Come on, me, child. Shit. Right, oh, right, shit. Then. It's on. Yo. It's on. Oh my god! Hey, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for Dolly to go back. Oh, I am okay. here, just being my level. I can hear it uh, now, data beta. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. The oh, weeds. <laughs> yeah, that digs fucking weeds. <laughs> I did not mean to choose this, but alright. If I get choked, I'm gonna be so mad. I like how Arthur has selected Excite Bike Arena for like the last 10 races and still hasn't been selected. Oh, I got oh. chosen, you smart! Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. No, Tara, that's not what Dink was saying. <laughs> that's no, not what I expected. That's not what Dink was I going for. I accept my luck. <laughs> okay, now, really have to go. Oh, that's okay. Thank you so much for coming by, Blue. Go out, good luck See with whatever you. you're up to. Number 16,398. Ah, Timmy. That, that little bastard. <laughs> it's fine, he's a bitch. He bit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine, he's a bitch. Actually, I forget how good this course is, not gonna lie. This course is very confusing the first time I played it. Yeah, it really throws you off, doesn't it? Yeah, I went Oh, and shit. people just committed not alive. <laughs> I like that name. The undead. Yeah. The uh, alivant. People just committed oof. <laughs> Fuck oh, off. No. Just yeah. stop talking, fuck sake. No! It's all right. It was for the greater good. <laughs> Two in over it. Why? Why <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, wait, I, you have me? Hello? I believe that was an alt F4 to life, Dink says. Yeah, that was good as well. Hi, Data. Hi, Data. No, no, no fuck off. I can see your tall lanky out. Oh, God. I, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck you. No! Oh, what? It, as soon as it logs on to you, it's stuck with you. Damn it! That Thank worked you. in DS. Not anymore. Damn it. Hi, Dahlia. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you where we're not trying to kill each other. It's quite chill. <laughs> you, however, you did steal my what? item, nope. so I'm very upset. Hit reset on the gacha game, no one applied. Fuck, it's too pro. <laughs> Hit Peepo! Hit Peepo! Hit Peepo! Not me! No, that's actually pretty accurate because life is pay to win. You right in front. What was I meant to do? Uh, ah! I'm fourth. This is not good. <laughs> hi. Hi, long legs. Hi, short. I'm so, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you started it! Oh, God. Oops. Oh, I accidentally used up my horn. Well, that's fun. Stop stealing items, whoever fucking ink killing kid is. Peepo. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Well, that hurt. Luckily, I just. Oh, Peepo's backing up just to get items from being shot. <laughs> That's desperation right there. <laughs> Fuck, I lost my items. I'm gonna go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! The piranha plant. Oh my god. Is this how you drive IRL? Um, I want to say no. Please yes, because I would happily drive with you if this was the case. This is what? how I drive IRL. Fuck, I lost no, my no. items. I'm going to go... Ah! <laughs> I'm going to reverse. Yeah, exactly, I think. <sighs> Tonight is intensified. <laughs> sorry, can't hear it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is why you should have come by the reading stream, not this stream. My be. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad. <laughs> oh. I'm in the mood. Grumble Volcano. 
Honestly, Dahlia and Arthur are basically the opposite of me and Jax, because we're both very loud, and they're okay. both very quiet. Yeah, I feel bad for the two of them. Sorry, guys. We're kind of, <laughs> we're kind of just completely blocking you out the fucking picture. You guys mm. are providing entertainment. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, the way you said that. We're, just... we're laughing our ass off. <laughs> both of you have such a deadpan-like delivery of that. Just like, we're laughing so hard right now. I love it. Uh, well, well, God, I can just imagine like a fucking like double date where it's just like the two of us being loud as fuck Lina. and the two of you like just eating your pizza. Lina's messy. Very, very quiet. quiet and very in love. Yes. Very in love. <laughs> I mean, I hope so. Yeah. I yeah. can't say anything, right? Sweats. <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> About that. <laughs> yes. Got that? Yes. Important yeah. announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Dink's right, just got the whole fucking squad laughing. No, not Grumble the Kid. Oh, hate this man. Games, you know there's more to do than make pancakes. I go go karts, four wheelers, a boat, lots to. Holy shit, you have a boat? Hey, boat! I'm Hell coming yeah. around just to like ride on the boat. That sounds dope. Actually, I actually have a Dutch boat license. What the f? Ew, Dutch. Here's a question. No. Why? <laughs> yeah, that is a good uh, question. I learned sailing as a kid. Ah. That one meme where one guy's wheezing and more because, just like... you know, Holland is made of 50% water, so... <laughs> You've got a very strong argument there. No! Oh, god damn it. Unfortunately, I hear you, Data, but the volcano is literally deafening. Oh! Invisible in force, yes please. Dahlia! Oh, Peepo, you goddamn asshole. Oh, I was gonna get Dahlia with invincibility. Data! No, fuck off. But I want to be near you. Let me hug uh, you. Another time. Let me hug you. Let me get <laughs> no, close. Another time. Come on. No. Let me be near you, Data. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed the ramp. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ow! Shit. Uh, yeah, revenge. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Put me when I make the most of my jokes. And fucking, you know what? You more power to you because you make the best jokes, Dink. Dink is really funny. Uh, yeah, we were all Ooh. gentle on the reading screen. Things changed at Tara real fucking bad. Who red shelled me? Ah! <laughs> uh, father, when will you let me go on my own? <laughs> what? Uh, did you not see that? Have you not seen that? Have you not seen that? No. Father, when will you let me go? <laughs> fucking Pinocchio, just father. When will you let me go? I've got the whole world to see. Uh, yes, for oh. family uh, friendly peppers, we will not I say the actual word. <laughs> fucking love it. Dude's gay as fuck, it's wonderful. <laughs> Data. No. Fuck you, get back here. <laughs> no. Fuck you, get back here. Fuck both of you. No. Okay. Ah, come on. Why do I always oh. keep second place until the last lap? And second then I just... place. I'll take that from you. Thank you. <laughs> For the announcement, I stole Dahlia. <laughs> oh, if you want to do an important announcement. Oh, yeah, you can do slash announcement. Well, I mean, I yeah. can. I, I can. You can. Yeah, I can. Moth can. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. I was talking to him. Oh, sorry. Oh, they made him so gay and crying. Yeah, it was fucking hell. Father! Oh, for Pinocchio, right. The most stressful thing about that round wasn't the round itself. It was my dear mother coming into the room and trying to speak to me while I'm... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. oh, good job to Peepo. Nice. <clears throat> I think I care too much about what other people feel slash see about me, so I don't talk a lot. I just Finn, you should. You in fear. <laughs> Finn, 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 you should talk a lot. You're awesome. I really, I'm, I'm very interested in you. Mm. I think you're super cool. Uh, did I fall asleep? Excuse you, call? game. Stick to data. <laughs> oh, sorry. Correction. <laughs> oh, sorry, I uh, I typed that wrong. My B. It was, it was still a D, but I got the. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. But good morning, <laughs> Ollie. How did you slam? <laughs> announcement. I stole data. Did you know you can do the announcement in any color you want? I could just do red and be like, I'm taking over. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. <laughs> Star Wars is better. 
No. <laughs> Do you want me to send you the screenshot, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Data. I love you. I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel betrayed. You know I love you. You know I love get you. Yes. His bike level at this it doesn't work on purple. It doesn't work on third-party chat lines either. It just shows up as a purple bar. Oh, don't worry. It shows up on PC if you do it, Dink. It worked for us. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, you did fall asleep on Call Lolly. It was very adorable. Vincent, I'm not going to speak to you. Anime is better, but Star Wars is better than Star Trek. Sorry, Data. Woohoo! Well, Vincent, you can be my friend now. <laughs> Ah. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Nick! Ah, that's one for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> <How> <laughs> it's getting friends now, like buying groceries. Hello? Yeah, basically, you just trade. <laughs> hey, yo, can I have those cookies for some fucking celery? Thanks. I've been, I've been needing celery, so. Selling a friend, why. very loyal, $3. I, I go for about two fifty, but that's just my regular rates. <laughs> <laughs> for what? This has, this has a very dark undertone, and I don't like it. Oh no, it's fine, I consented. <laughs> no one- <laughs> no, <laughs> no one else- no, no, don't worry about it, it's fine, moving on. No! Fucking shy guy. Oh god damn it. Uh, well, I had a dream that a giant siren head monster was looking at my window, and I had to keep calm or something bad would happen. Oh, so you slept well from the sound of it then. <laughs> It's, oh, see, damn what, it. see what, would, knew. what would make what would make any siren head like what would make any siren head meme like, like nightmare uh, like immediately funny is just him going father. Oh my God. That would not make it any better. No, it would make it scarier for anything. Oh shit! But How Ollie, the hell did I manage to do that? Ollie, I'm sorry, honey. I'd give you a hug if I could, but just know that it's okay. We're here to protect you now. Oh, the music does this feel great. By the way, uh, it is my boat, it's my dad, even though it's not. Uh, it is my boat, it's my dad's, even though I've been learning to drive it. Oh, it is in my boat. Ah, still would be cool though. No, rip, that didn't work. <laughs> Everyone's subject to their own opinion. Even if it's wrong, wheeze! <laughs> hey, Pose! Not anymore. Slap. <laughs> Fucking Peepo, don't hold off from me, you slot. Bye, bye. No. Oh, ah. well, well, apparently it didn't matter. Wait, a CPU is in second place. Hello? But did you know the computer can actually play the game? Well, I, um, I didn't put them What a hard. surprise. <laughs> that doesn't mean they can't still get to oh, you. Oh, goddammit. I mean, yeah, but still. <laughs> You're just salty that a CPU is beating you. Well, no, but... I kind of got over that. Watch out, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for the warning. Now I'm going to catch up with you. Bye-bye. Go, Yoshi! No! Come on, Yoshi! Ah, fuck you, Yoshi. No. No, fuck Dahlia. Don't... No, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, I got third. I'll take it. Ow. Yoshi, oh. Yoshi got... What did Yoshi get? Yoshi got fourth! Yoshi beat Data! Yeah! Good job, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, there are two shy guys? Apparently so. Uh, Arthur is sad, or maybe happy, I don't know. Uh, uh, I slept 12 hours and I took a three hour nap and I was still tired, what am I doing? Delene, I'm sh are, you, are you certain you didn't like take meth or something? <laughs> Because after that, you need, to, you need to sleep for like 20 hours. I'm sorry, Lena the Swede taking meth? <laughs> Never. <laughs> My theory is you haven't recharged all your fatigue over the years. For me, another 500 hours will do. Yeah, same. I want to play DK uh, Johnson. I the worst fucking migraine, so that doesn't help me to... Yeah. I want one of those sci-fi sleep casuals. Just sleep for 50 years straight, man. I would give it. I was going to say, Vin, if your theory is that you have to recharge all your fatigue, I'm fucked. It's like, it, it, <laughs> m me trying to regain all like the hours I've lost of sleep would be the equivalent of smashing 24 mirrors and then trying to stay alive long enough to see the day that I don't have bad luck. Okay then. Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't sleep a lot as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Probably why my eyes are fucking baggier than an old woman's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a very I good. did not know where that was going. I didn't either. But I wasn't expecting I, that. I didn't either. And you know what? I'm upset it went that direction. <laughs> I'm so sorry yeah. to every human being that just heard me talk. It paints but, quite the picture. <laughs> I don't know, what can I say? After reading half a book, I'm suddenly, you know, fucking Mozart when it comes to words. <laughs> what the fuck that's is- just, That just shows how desperate you needed it. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I can't speak properly, fucking hell. Get out of my way, fuck off. Nah, I was trying to aim my green target. Wait till you get over here, jeez. It's not a euphemism, it's just funny that to make it sound like it's a euphemism. It was a very creative description. No, I drifted on the wrong side. Oliver, based off of my language choices right now, there's a good chance you're still in the nightmare. I'd probably run if you can. <laughs> my fucking god. Also, what did you say? I'll pretend my tinnitus is still triggering. Vin, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I got. I just realised my course got chosen. Yay. Ah. I know, no. but like he was good at the music, just like I'm good at words. Or, not really, but you know. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, good night, Lena. Have a good night's sleep. Oh, good night, Lena. I love you. Rest well, and I hope yeah. you feel better. <laughs> well, my sibling is still alive, so I'm probably not in the nightmare anymore. I see. <laughs> yeah, no, that just clicked, didn't it? I was like, oh, fuck, I see. <laughs> Fucking Peepo with Shy Guy just coming in the back, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> fuck you, Peepo. Ow. No, come on. Rachel didn't affect me. You know what I'd really hate uh, is that if you when you got shot by lightning you became so small you couldn't actually reach coins. That'd be pretty funny. Ah! Oh. <laughs> What's with the wiggly music? It's DK Jungle, baby! Shit's bopping! I almost went bossing. I almost, without even meaning to. No, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh, wait, you fucking. Oh, God. Oh, I'm. People. I am not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Leave me alone. I don't like this course. Why not? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm slowly getting fatigued from playing Mario Kart. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but. Shout out to the Markiplier bumping intro. It's a bumping intro! Fucking Peepo! Oh my fucking god, they red shelled me just as they crossed the line. You fucking ass! You are toxic as shit. I'm gonna check Twitter. Okay, fourth, I'll take it. Sorry for being so toxic, but at the same time, fuck you, Peepo. <laughs> Don't shout out Peepo! That's not the, the fucking course of fucking mods shouting out the people I hate you bastard. Oh. Good job. Good job, Oliver. Peepo, why are you taking the faster? Shut up, alright? I didn't think of mm. Hey, thank you, Oliver. Yeah, shout out Oh, Oliver, if you do exclamation mark data, it also shouts out data. Just saying. I need to add Peepo to my auto host list. I'll do that later. I just want the bike one. I just want the bike. Really? It's not like I've been picking this map since my third map. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't like the bike map. Oh, please. Please, please don't pick it just for the meme. Oh, please. Please. <laughs> yes. No. If it, if it landed on me, I would have literally lost my god shit. Damn it. I'm glad we're choosing it, but I wanted it just for the meme. Don't worry. I don't like I, I, I don't mind this map. I hate this map with a passion. I need to add you to my auto host list, so whenever you stream, it'll automatically go on, on my channel, people. Also means you'll be at the bottom of the channel, as uh, so it's one of my recommended streamers. Data is at the top, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, you were thinking for me. No, I'm second, but it's fine. I'm not offended. Oh, uh, well, I, I've, <laughs> I've not been careful. I've, said that. I've not been quietly resentful of it this entire time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just like slowly, like fucking pondering in the background, like. Ah, uh, now I understand what's been really ah, going on this entire time. <laughs> that's why. I, yeah, I'm not gonna think now. Oh, bye, Dahlia. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw you next to me and then you were not. Unfortunately, your green child got me good. I'm gonna try to Photoshop my dream monster. Ooh, what's your dream monster? Oh, wait, do you mean dream monster as in, like, monster fucker dream monster? Or are we talking just regular monster, Arlo? Ah! Paralysis monster. 
<laughs> hey, can't have a nightmare. Go too dark. Hey, can't be a nightmare if it's a wet dream. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a minute. That implies something, and I don't like it. Simple. Why do you think I became a furry? It's something scary. Just turn it in. Just watch the porn of it. It's less scary. Uh. Well, I was thinking sure, I'll give that a go. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. If you watch, what? look. Think about it. If you find something scary, you watch porn of it. It's not scary anymore, is it? Ow. That depends. I mean, there is some pretty fucked up shit out there. It can't be scary if you're fucking turned on by it. It's a very different. It activates two completely different parts oh, of the brain. Sure, that's how that works. Look, it activates two completely separate parts of the brain. The fear factor doesn't you kick in. Be scared of you the fear be scared of it no matter what, even if it's naked. No, but if you're no longer scared, if you if, if sexualize it, naked in you, you would not be scared of it. Naked what? German, for example. Naked German? What? Slenderman. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you kept cutting out. I think you said naked German. I was like, yeah, I can oh. imagine one, but I don't find it exactly <laughs> scary. <laughs> I'm flattered, thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean you. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> too many um, <laughs> German stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did mean you, don't worry. But I don't need to imagine it. I'll stop, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, my god. A big drift. <laughs> I can't even jump over ramps. No, I'm yeah, just small. I mean, yeah. Come on. Peepo. Don't you fucking dare try to overtake me by pulling oh, back. Oh, Peepo, I swear to God. Hit the bomb on! Yes. <laughs> I'll take first. I'll take first. I'm fine. Second, I'll take no. first. No! Oh. Good job, Dali. Oh, well the done. Show. You're so lucky. Uh, wow, Peepo came forth in that one. That's the first. <laughs> uh, but he isn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was about to say. Sorry. <laughs> We're so mean. We are. But you know what? We're mean together, and that's what makes us such a good. Co no. <laughs> that's two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> Baby pot. Not if you try hard enough. I'm sorry. I'm very. I don't terrible. know what that means, but yes. I mean, Peepo hit the bomb bomb instead, so I think that's. Oh, did they? Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, well, in that case, good. I, I wanted the shell to hit the bomb bomb. I hit the bomb on! Okay, fuck that! <laughs> I didn't know if they had, and then people came oh, in the chat. Why did everyone select Baby Park? <laughs> because Baby Park, simple. <laughs> so, as we can clearly yeah, determine, right. people hit the bomb on. Good to know. Yes, he did. <laughs> See, people have always. I love the way that people holds back to get, like, items, wait for someone to go in first, and then fuck them up, and then it bites him in the ass later, and it's like, well, shit. Yeah, it's called being overly cocky. Mm. That's why being toxic is so much fun, because then they get bit in the ass and it's hilarious. I'm very hungry. I'm going to get chips after this game. Did you just snort a line of cocaine before starting the stream? What happened to you? <laughs> what, me? You just keep yeah, rambling yeah, yeah. on. <laughs> jumping, 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 like, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea. You know what? I might have, you know what? Cam might have smoked so much weed that the fucking air of it might have just gotten into my system. Not actually, by the way. That's everyone. not part. That's not. Act no, I would know if I'm high because. Well, actually, I wouldn't. But that's besides the point. I'm not high. I, I talk like. I talk like this normally. <laughs> Come on, you've known me for fucking months now, Data. Oh, Fuck you. No. That was a very. Uh. I love the way the music like pitches up every time you do a lap. That's really fun. Doesn't give me any anxiety at all. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Ow! Oh, stop hitting them shells! I'm eighth in Baby Park. Please. Oh, sure, invincibility, I'll take it. Close. That was close. <sighs> I'll take third. I will take out. Oh, my power block. Bye first. No. God damn it. God damn it. No. Come on. No. God. I swear to fucking God, people, you are cheating. I'll take third. How? I'll take fourth. <laughs> good job, good job. Why was I, I first the entire fifth. time? And then Someone last... give me back my second place. I won't take fourth. What the fuck did give people do? He was in like last place and then 
Uh, yeah. Um, how? I gave y'all a free lap and still won. Um, I'm how? very toxic. You oh, no. First. Peepo's a dick like that, but we love Peepo because Peepo is wonderful. But still. Right now, I don't love Peepo. <laughs> I will very kindly end today's session. Oh, I think I might as well. I was going to end after that. Well, I think we yes, all need to. I am. <laughs> we, need a, we need a break after this. We need a fucking show. Mario is always uh. high energy. <laughs> I'm gonna end yeah. stream and then end call and then I'm just gonna do my outro uh, and stuff. So I'll speak with you guys later. Uh, all right, see all right, you. Call, sorry, but I'll see you. Mm. Speak with you later. Love you I all. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Uh... Bye. Well, thank you very much, Data, for having me on stream today. That was Mario Kart 8 with Data, Dahlia, and Arthur. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm fucking real tired. So, excuse me, sorry. I still love you, princess. I love you too, people. Don't worry. I know that you're toxic from Eric Hart, but everything else you're wonderful for. And I love you very much. Ah, so I'm going to exit out as well. But still, thank you all for the new viewers that have come by today. And thank you all for the reg regular viewers that have come by today. Get some good refs after packing your stuff, games. I'll be sure to, Epic. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I'll try and pack as fast as I can. And then I'll probably go down to the chip shop and grab some chips just because, you know... I want to make tuna pasta, but I'll save it for tomorrow's trip so I don't have to worry about food on the way to the... On the way home. So I'll go grab some chips from the chippy. But thank you all so much for joining me today. I've had a really good time. That reading stream was super chill and relaxing. And this was energetic as fuck. Probably should have done them the other way around. It would have been a hell of a lot better to play Mario Kart. And then do some calm streaming. But you know what? I had a good time either ways. And if you guys are interested in more story time streams. Be sure to go to the suggestion panel down below. Where you can see how games to me to play in the future. Or, get, or, or more of the story time streams. If you found them interesting today. If as well you're new to the channel. And you uh, enjoyed what you saw today. Be sure to follow the channel to keep updated whenever I'm streaming. It really helps towards the goal of 1000. We're getting real close. Fucking 939. We are getting there my boys. It is wonderful. And girls of course. Thank you for streaming princess. Thank you for coming by Sporkle. You are an absolute gem to have by today. You're so sweet. Mwah. I'm going to give you all a huggy. I want to give a group hug real quick because I love all of you very much. You're very kind and I love all of you to pieces. So yeah. Thank you all for coming by today. It was so lovely to have you. I really appreciate all of you being here. And um, finally thank you very much to today's patrons. I'm going to quickly shout out. I almost forgot to do that. But thank you very much to, to uh, this month's patrons. Mary is bleeding. Forest 2001, Pearl 520, Snapple Sands, Davrim, Friends of Xbox, Cup of Color, Arthur, Kaorgi, Tio, Kali, Ivan, Bird is the word. If you too want to have your name run at the end of streams as well as bonus perks, such as being able to join in VCs once a month and actually talk back into the stream, be sure to go to patreon.com slash games today too or check out the panel down below and see what perks you can get today. For now, we're going to go, uh, go ahead and raid someone. No idea who, but I want to figure out real quick in the dashboard. Is anyone live that I'm interested in? Not really. I'm going to go raid someone based off of my raid dashboard. One sec. Uh, they're playing Mario Kart. Anyone playing Mario Kart, please? Because if they're playing Mario Kart 8, I'm down to... Okay, so here we go. Uh, any 25? Let's see. Uh, viewership code 58. Alright. Noodle Sauce is who we're going to be raiding. Uh, I gotta quickly get their name. One second, sorry. I'm just grabbing names for the raid. Uh, where's my dashboard? Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and raid Noodle Sauce. They're currently playing some Mario Kart 8, so you can see. You will be able to continue your Mario Kart binge while you're there with them. Uh, thank you so much all for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on today's stream. And uh, be oh, before we go, we have a raid message, by the way. Be sure to use this when you're over there. If you are subscribed, use Games F F4 Heart Hug. If you're not subscribed, you can just use a regular love heart. All is fine. But Catboy Princess sends her regards. And that is our raid message. So be sure to copy paste that so you can paste it in the chat when we get over there. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I'll see you in the next stream. Oh, hold on a sec. Yes. Oh no, don't copy paste that exactly. Just copy paste either Catboy Princess sends their regards. Yeah, just co co copy paste Catboy Princess sends their regards. Not the uh, non-subscribe one because, oops. But yeah, just copy uh, the first or the second depending on the which. But again, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll be sure to pack and I will see you all the week after next because I will not be streaming for the next week. Thank you all for joining me. Love you.
We'll be right back. 